two. Well, hello everybody. It is Wednesday, May 31st. The last day of May. It is Wednesday. Man. It is Wednesday. And uh, as we turn the page into a beautiful June month, which is my favorite month, I love June. So that's... it was in June this year. Yes, it was. Um, today we have a fantastic show. Which, if you are a frequent watcher, know that that's kind of breaking the the usual schedule of our terrible shows. But this one is actually going to be really good. And I promise, I'm not even going to talk about. Um, Babylon reached that much. Ten minutes. Actually, you know what? You know what, Dan? You can even do a timer. Really? You say you have ten minutes and I'll get it all oh, out. Oh, that's interesting. Because I know a lot of you guys... It's almost like they're blessing and cursed that they're so dumb and boring. That it's like... Because I want to talk about them. But the audience don't like watching it because they're so dumb and boring. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, they made a <clears throat> they made a pretty explosive video about me, and then they erased it after a few hours. It reminded me of Logan Paul's first video, uh, attacking Coffeezilla. You remember that? Right, right, yeah. Then oh, he this looks stupid. Then he erased it and put out a like a more tame one. That's what they did. Mm. They did a uh, Ethan is racist. That was the response, actually. So I, I guess I haven't officially started talking about them. You can't start the timer yet. I started it 45 <laughs> seconds ago. No, 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 I'm not, no, 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 this isn't it. You look stressed right now. <laughs> oh yeah, they made, so, so they, right. So they, um, in the video, basically instead of reacting, responding to any point I made, they just said Ethan's uh, racist. Therefore, his points are invalid, I guess. Ah! Also, the stuff they cut in there is absolutely insane. Also, they made fun of my Tourette's. Also, they did sad. The timer. They start. They did sad violin over Olivia. I'm telling you, it'll be. It's gonna be fun. But I'm at. But I'm just setting it up. Nope. Stop the timer. Is, is there a sport when you're on field that you do the timer and then when you're off it stops? It's like that. You know what I mean? Chess. Thank you. Chess. Yeah. Oh, chess. It's like chess. It's like one D chess. Yeah, but uh, we've got actually a really fantastic, thank you so much, really amazing uh, segment today by our one and only Zach, who is, as you guys know, somewhat of a Lego fanatic. To say the least. Yeah, you, would, you would even put it in stronger terms. A Lego psychotic? I mean... Uh, yeah. Um, brick mind. Um, Brick, bricked up. I'm bricked up, baby. Yeah, so um, in an effort to, I guess, become the Lego king, in essence, uh, he got banned from the Lego store. But ultimately, we did end up, if you can just cut to the box. Do, can we do that? There is here a special surprise. This is real stuff. I know, like... Oh, this is a real. Oh, that's a real. This can. is a real box. Oh my god, <laughs> it's real. <laughs> and underneath, there is a Lego s surprise that is going to blow everybody's mind. It is, of course, a Hunger FF's prolapse mm -hmm. Lego size nice. coming to a Lego store near you. Let's spoil it. But it's Wednesday. We all had a good uh, Monday memorializing our fallen heroes. Yeah. I took your advice. I went and did the top golf thing this weekend. Oh, you did? I did. Tell me about it. It was really fucking cool. Isn't it awesome? Say, I, I had a lot of fun. It, it was really fun. Uh, yeah, I went with a bunch of buddies. And uh, yeah, the whole... Did you play like the games? The games make no sense to me. I don't understand them. Oh, the games were the best part. They, I don't understand <laughs> it. Their points seem That's random. We played, uh... We're just driving, it? me and my buddy. We played, uh, Angry Birds. Okay. And you, like, knock over in virtual reality, like, the... the towers with the little piggies on them or whatever. Okay. And, uh... It was a lot of fun. I guess I'll do that. You gotta do it. Top Golf is, like, technology gone right. That's right. 
This is the best application. Use that slogan. Yeah, Top Golf forever. Uh, but anyone else have a fun uh, time memorializing our fallen heroes? Uh, yeah, me, Cam, Lena, and uh, Allie. We went to San Diego uh, for the day. Real funny, huh? And uh, more importantly, I got the Master Sword in Zelda. Oh, I did that too. Yeah. Oh, you got it. See, I, I'm so I motivated after he sent the screenshot. I've been playing a lot, you know, and I'm like, I still feel like I haven't barely scratched the surface of the game. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There's just so much to do in the game, but congratulations on the Master Sword. Thank you, thank you. I do have a few legendary weapons that I've got. Mm -hmm. Indeed, indeed. And I know there's a way to repair them, I just don't know how to do that yet. Same, same. No spoilers, chat. Please. Yeah. Please. Steve, the Second Amendment protects your right to own nuclear weapons. Yeah, no, nothing that extreme. It's just like an axe and a bow. Yeah. But uh, me, Ela, and the kids went down to San Diego, uh, and it was great. We had a fun time. Bruce said Theodore. Aww. Oh, isn't that cute? That is cute. Yeah, uh, we had a really fun time down there, just enjoying our time and spending time with the kids. So yeah, Memorial Day rules. Great holiday. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you for um, for dying so that we can have the day off. I didn't say that. I did not. I would say this. Thank you for your service. You made the no, ultimate. That's, that's, oh, uh, that's Veterans Day. You made the ultimate sacrifice. No, this is specifically people died. who died. Yeah, they made the ultimate sacrifice. That's what I said. What's wrong you said with thank you for dying. Yeah, exactly. No, thank, thank you. You Baseball made the ultimate game sacrifice game. for my freedom. She's also died. That's another way of putting the same thing, yeah. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you. Right. It's fucking disrespectful. The service that you provided is dying. Thank you for going door- and by the way, I'm not blaming them. Thank you no, for going door to door in a small Afghani village. <laughs> no, again, that's Veterans Day. No, but they- Because not all people died, that did that died. Not all people that did that died. I'm talking about the ones that did die. It, me too. Thank you for dying? That's what I'm saying! Die! 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 You can't say that to our beloved fallen soldiers. I, really I feel like we're on the same page here. I, I, I don't, I don't get it. I was saying they did not die in vain. Our brave warriors who went door to door in small Afghani villages, torching crops and uh, uh, lawlessly arresting people. Die. That's of course a crime by our government and military complex. They, are, of course, deserve to be memorialized. You know what I mean? Right. 245 years of slinging dick, baby. America. <laughs> True. Haven't missed a day. Yep. Perfect attendance. That's right. That's America. That's America. Yeah. You know, uh, speak just a little aside. It's kind of funny. You know how we're having this debt ceiling uh, standoff with the conservatives are not agreeing to raise the debt ceiling and threatening to put the United States in default if they don't cut back on costs. So they forced Biden to cut back on specific costs like um, college uh, forgiveness, IRS funding. Uh, oh yeah, they, they, they made it so um, you have to work to get like social benefits now. You have to show proof of work. Yet they added $40 billion for uh, defense spending. So that makes a lot of sense. So congratulations to Defense Department. That's Ooh. America. They're like, people on food stamps, we need to keep an eye on them. Mm -hmm. But $40 billion, they need it. They, they, they need it. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite, quite, uh, quite perverse. It's incredible. Yeah, but anyway, uh, God bless the, the fallen ones. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's weird. I, we didn't have a show on Monday, and I feel like today's Monday. So, yeah. Man, it is Wednesday, man. So let's just get right into it. Also, just a shout out, Teddy Fresh. The women's classics are out now. If you guys are interested in picking up some beautiful, elegant, well-made. 
<laughs> exactly. And absolutely affordable. Go to classics. Shop this tab and you will see this collection that we are all so proud of. Thank you guys. And that's what it is. Thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No. I want to thank you. I want to give a shout out to Jordan Peterson. Always. Actually, no. I want to give a shout out to Sori Sora. This girl is incredible. Oh, she yeah. is the coolest. She's made a few animations you guys might remember. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, this one, I, we must have watched this um, one on the show, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. it's so good. Mm -hmm. You guys are both tall. Fuck you. You know what I mean? It's like nobody cares. Nobody's sad for you guys being not as tall. See, this is what I mean. Nobody cares about us tall boys. Yeah. And nobody they should have. It's messed up. It's <laughs> fucked up. Being it's tall is up. some bullshit. It's like um, some bullshit. Like, First of all, he's not that much taller than me. Just going to say that. Sorry. What? Like, Fighting with Ryan Cavanaugh. I mean, they ha she has me like a dwarf and him as like Andre, Andre the Giant defending my height. Right. Why is that so mind numbing to you? It just looks proportional to me. I it know. does not. It stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fker. How tall is he? Let me Ryan see. Kavanaugh's a manlet. What's yeah. Harvey Weinstein's height? There's lots of pictures of them together. Good question. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> so Harvey Weinstein was apparently. Okay, six my foot. ass does not okay. stick so out. If you, so if you Google Harvey Weinstein, Ryan Kavanaugh, this is a really good experiment because <laughs> there there is a lot of images of them standing next to each other. Yeah. Actually, you know he what? Kind of he looks he, like he, Harvey Weinstein. It's one of my best moments in show history. That's what I've no been way. saying, bro. <laughs> Does Pop Ryan Kavanaugh look like HarveyWeinstein.com? <laughs> what the fuck? You know that's my website, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's so stupid. <laughs> we made that website to help the public. <laughs> this is to help people like you, Rob. <laughs> this is a public service. Did no. you really not know that was our website? No. That's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> She's her animation is so good. Yeah, I'm like, classic. we actually commissioned her to make one. Oh, she made a frenemies one that was like mega awesome. And then where's the one we paid her to make? It's on our channel. Oh, we uploaded it. Yeah, I just sent oh. it. So let me just. I want to give her like a full shout out because she really is so amazing. And then I'll show you sure, her new one. Because I have bad eating habits, doesn't mean you can eat licorice for breakfast. I can't wait to see who dies first. I can't wait. <laughs> I'm stupid. So how was your weekend? I never know if you hate or like me, like, genuinely. I genuinely don't care like about you, you but, but that's what I'm saying. I'm indifferent to you. Like, I don't think about you outside of this. Like, I think it's cool because, like, oh, you have, like, your own thing going, and I have my own thing going, so it's cool we do, like, this yeah. collab. But I don't think about you outside of this, ever. <laughs> I'm just indifferent. I'm gutted. <laughs> and then the one that we paid her to make uh, right. is this one, which was so, I mean, this one's a masterpiece. For hmm. some reason we uploaded, it didn't get that many views. Or I mean, compared. I'm assuming it's just because it's short and our so like four hours usually and YouTube's like, nah, we're not going to recommend this. It's only four minutes. Oh, yeah, maybe we should put it on the highlights. But the the foot war, it's here on our channel. <laughs> this one is just wow. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like there's just a little bit too much mutiny around here sometimes. <laughs> well, so your concern is that one of us pass you, or your concern is somebody that's no. not part of the crew passes? It's all we dangerous. Do you understand that when united, you, we stand, divided, we fall, is my point. If we're going to rage this foot war, we can't be uh, spreading our allegiances all over the place. There's one <laughs> foot commander, and you guys being on the, scores, the scoreboard compromises all of our hard work. We cannot compromise the security of this war. Well, for, okay, so first, you're going to lose. We all lose. Okay, first of all, this is a this is a fluid situation, okay? Because when that happened, all I said is that it would be funny if AB passed you because AB was like freaking out about like <laughs> Ethan's going to be mad at me if I pass him. 
I'm like, well, that would be funny then. <laughs> Who's not a ask permanent you, thing. Who do you guys think you are? I'm the foot god. You don't pass me. <laughs> this is my foot throne. A B A God on me. It's like that Denzel Washington scene from Training, Training Day. He ain't got on me. <laughs> Four thousand one hundred five star rating. You forget yourself. Joe Biden. Now up. I ask you all today, now to pledge allegiance to me as your one true leader of the Foot Nation Army. This is really how wars happen. We had this common <laughs> thing, and you guys got greedy. You all wanted foot clout. I you want to have your own foot nation. You, you weren't just happy about. being under being under my circle. I was thumb. happy. Nobody. Put, I didn't put myself you're, on there. You're like little finger. You're listen. causing trouble. You're trying to chaos. <laughs> I'm, <not, laughs> I'm not like you know. I, you are I'm not like finger. you know. What, you're, you're, you're like Joffrey. <laughs> you're like Joffrey. <laughs> no, I'm not. You got insane with power. You're out of control. Start. Listen to this. A B say. Oh, I'm doing to protect you. Now all of a sudden, when I'm like, yo, I don't like what's happening here, you're talking about, oh, I'm ready to go mutiny and make my own nation. And then what do I got to do? I got to go war with you. And I got to go war with you. And then all of a sudden, this nation we had unified strong, the top in the world, is now weak with war and attrition and infighting. I think I, you need to eat you're right. <laughs> you are plodding behind my back. This is equivalent to Julius Caesar finding out there's been betrayed. Yes. E, 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 e <laughs> yes. to Brutus. A2 Dan? Exactly. No. Dan is the main perpetrator. You're He's no Julius. You're no Julius. You no. are Julius. You're Judas. <laughs> and I am Jesus. <laughs> okay, we're mi we're mixing up our metaphors here a little bit now. The point is, I'm the foot savior, and you all have f***ing <laughs> will bow to me. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, who do you pledge allegiance to? <laughs> we love uh love and zach my golden boys my golden boys yeah step it ian looked like running forrest gump love who do you support you of course thank you you're all fired love is executive producer i've always supported you. oh Whoa, zach I've is ex him... zach is promoted i've never wanted this mutiny to happen yeah you zach you're promoted down to you zach you're in love you're in ian you're in the fucking skull what did they call that when you they put his prisoners in oh, gulag yeah you're in the gulag <laughs> <laughs> you're in the fucking gulag yeah <laughs> I'm just saying, this feels like how democracy Yo, works. get that out of here. I am the Senate. Yeah, you're going to the gulag, bro. Get that out of here. AB, bye you're bye. going to the good. Your head is going on a pike. <laughs> Isn't she not amazing? Wow. She's amazing. Incredible. I yeah. love her style. She gets the way you move. Like super well, mm. the way that you like bounce up and down when you're talking. She, she really gets hit me that. like nobody else. Yeah, and th she did this all by herself. So I think she has a bright future in animation. But yeah, sorry, sorry, so, sorry Sora. So here's her new one. Anyway, I just wanted to cloud her up. Um, man, I missed the foot wiki feet days. Yeah, that, that was one of the best. That things. whole kingdom has crumbled now, hasn't it? It's all you're like Ozymandias. After well, that episode, I told them across the ruins. I emailed them. I told them to take my feet off the website. After <laughs> this yeah, situation. Yeah, and you guys know that all the bullshit and shenanigans is probably what pushed them over the edge and canceled the whole damn thing. Well, I couldn't. I couldn't win. Either way, Dan was trying to set me up. Yeah, it's Dan's fault, like usual. <clears throat> I can't stand that. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> all right, so here's her new one about Jordan Peterson. The gamer sub cup. <laughs> it's just men. It's Jordan Peterson crying about how, how about poor men. What will we do without men? Where will we be? Without no, men? Maybe. What the hell are we gonna do? I know. I just men? noticed that. I I'm no just, longer a fan. I don't know what to do. Wait, what did I miss? She gave me flock of eyes. Oh, <laughs> He's how about poor out. men? What will we do without <laughs> men? <laughs> Where will we be? Without men? What the hell are we gonna do without men? I have just I don't know what to do without them. They built our roads. Society what would society be? Men they're doing impossible things. 
Damn it, it's okay to be a man. And to build, and to make rods. And to dig swimming pools. Working on the sewers. <laughs> what are we gonna do without men in the sewers? They work themselves to death. <laughs> <laughs> this is a man fighting for men. She loves showing my crap. <laughs> She is the greatest. I am, I think she is so amazing. She is just incredible, and she was a pleasure to work with too. So sorry, Sora. We should well, let's put her link in description. Spam mm -hmm. and chat. I was and stuff. just she, doing that. She's so cool. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. I watch those anytime. Here, they're just they're the such a too. treat, you know. Yep. Here, I just pinned it in the chat, and I'm putting the description. By the way, sorry, you're gonna have to start. Um, Drawing me skinnier because I weighed in at 208 today. Oh. 208? 208, Dan. Oh. You scared? I'm not scared at all. You're a little skinny, you mini. This has always been a carrot. This has always been a carrot. Mm. You know? You know what carrots go good in? Mayonnaise with like a man like a they call like a potato salad. Dan should <laughs> mayo up that dome. Is that good? Yeah, there actually it is. Carrots in a I, I'm, there's an Israeli dish. They call it mayonnaise, which admittedly is a horrible, horrible name. They just call it mayonnaise. It's just mayonnaise. Okay. But it's carrots, potato, egg, and pickle, and it is like so much better than it sounds like, and has any right to be. It's so good. Mm. Yeah. So I'm gonna put that on mm. your head too. No. No, nope. we didn't agree to that. Okay. We'll see. We didn't agree to that. Yeah. Um, and. Should mayo up that dome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ela's been popping off on social media. She actually put up a banger TikTok of AB. Um, so I heard on the street. So AB goes and rescue this girl who's trapped in the bathroom. She's she's pregnant. I think we should point that out too. Yeah. So I, oh, I technically, stop technically it. it was a baby. No, there was so a baby you, involved. You saved too. a baby. There was. So you yeah. saved a baby. Well, what I what I heard through the grapevine is that you guys. Uh, there may have been an exchange of money and some planning that happened behind the scene. Yeah. I heard this too. Well, the, the rumor you heard was that there was, it was planned with her because yes. I just heard that AB may have just shoved her in there and locked, locked I, the door. I heard she was in, she was on the cut. She was on the lamb. She was in on, on it? She, was, she got her That's beak disgusting. wet. She got a baby on the way, you know what I mean? Fine, fair. So AB, well, let you guys be the judge. AB won't fess up. Hey, somebody at 30 Fresh got stuck at the bathroom. Edie, are you away from the door? Yeah. Okay, get away, make sure you're away from I'm trying to take it in. I'm gonna make an idiot of myself. <laughs> Lock that heel. door like it's that. Shoulder. <laughs> I think I have my shoulder. I don't think I have it in my. Give us everything you wanted to do. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Is that hurt? When it didn't bust like that? Yeah. No. It slammed it pretty hard. Where? No, you're gonna do it again. No, you too, so Maria. What, what I believe is happening is she's back there with some kind of chair or something. And then you'll notice that right. when AB gets it open, he goes, okay, now I got it. Barely pushes the door and it opens. Oh, that was my, my signal to back up. You'll see it right here in the video. Interesting. It's right, it all is here. It's your tell. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, wow, it's so hard, right? Okay. So solid. Okay, that, I felt so bad, but that was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. She just launched herself at the door. She looks well, ferocious. Little did she know that it was fortified from the inside. Right. I got it. Oh, wait. Yeah, we got it correct. Oh, Hila left a comment. This is crazy. Hold on. But at this point, I can get it. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Ela says, oh my god, the animation is the best thing ever. Thank you, Queen. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just putting the door frame. I'd rather just fuck up the door. Here. Try it. Try it again. It's okay, fine hand. Look, Edie, you tried to... Oh, it's just a shoot it. Get ready, here it goes. Nope. Okay, now I want you guys to watch this. <laughs> frame by frame. Uh, and, or hmm. At least just watch carefully. Listen. Hold on. At this point, I can get it. Hold on, hold on. He can get it. He's sure now. Step away. I don't oh, want you to see what's about I'll to happen. I'd rather just fuck up the door. Here. Try it. Try it again. Oh, perfect. She's all the way around the corner. She can't see. Okay. Oh, still not opening. 
Now watch this. Here it goes. He goes, now I've got it. All of a sudden. It's convenient the camera he away even, for a moment. Yo, he didn't even go it. back that much. He didn't even throw like a really hard shoulder in that moment. Don't you can see hand. it. It was like, a, not as hard as that one. Do you guys see what I'm seeing? Look how half-assed this one is. Wow, that really just... It's like it wasn't even blocked at all. Yeah, AB, why are you lying? Let it play, let it play. Okay. Let's see. Anybody that wants to box AB? That's not a wedge door. Think twice. Hmm. That's right. It doesn't look that hard to. It's just like cardboard. It's like a thin ass door. Yeah. Why <laughs> stunk door. That was the yeah. thickest door Why I've ever seen. Lying. That's the thickest door you've ever seen. That door was insanely hard to get open. No way. It's like particle board. That's I think it's, made, that's of, it's made of particle there's board. A, there's that's another bathroom like. there if you guys want to try it. You want to break another door? <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm not in the business of breaking my own You're property. Not, really? Since when? <laughs> there. <laughs> when did that change? I'll try it, actually. I would try it. <laughs> okay. Do we see who, if we can break the Teddy door Fresh open? Fresh is going to no, fucking no, no. hate us. Let's not do that. Sounds pretty interesting, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> well, the question is, do we have the same door in our bathrooms as they have next no. door? No. He no. was quick. He was very he quick. Was he very was very quick, quick on that. Because I don't know I can, that. I can, I've been a lot of time looking at the doors lately, huh? Yeah. I'm telling you, that was a thick ass door. Okay. We can see it. It's okay. not that thick. Olivia, do some off. <laughs> well, where are you coming from? You can see that all the way from Sweden, dude. <laughs> yeah, you can see that from Sweden. Yeah. You're saying that's thick? No. So thick. You don't know thick. No, I'm saying it's not that thick. Yeah, it's not that thick. Hey, uh, Olivia, do me, do me, do some ops. All right. Go check do the thickness of our doors. Yep, yep. Go back over to Teddy Fresh yep. and check the thickness of this use one the he caliper. broke. You got to use the automotive. But wait, what is that? I'm what does that prove though? Scale photo with my thumb. Oh, if it's the same size, you want me to break if one it's of the our same doors? Same thickness. <laughs> Are if you making this... me measure? No, no. Just, just give me your assessment. Just feel it. Knock. Tell me if it's the same density. Dan's off to get something. Yeah, Dan's saying, it. hold on, hold on. But wait, what does that prove? Come over here? Well, well, it's not very it girthy. proves that you you obviously installed a weaker door, and you're not confident anymore. Okay, yeah. That we can break <laughs> the one in the office, <laughs> which I think I can do. You better think twice. That's right. I lost twice, but I can still break doors. <laughs> Of your husband. That was amazing. Yeah. yeah, I'm impressed. You did good. Thanks. Is it hot? That was beautiful. <laughs> good job, baby. <laughs> you too. <laughs> so, and then why was AB even there? It makes me wonder. Like, why is AB over at Teddy Fresh just coincidentally? Okay. At the time she's locked in. So, there was a package. Okay, my camera's frozen. There is a package. How convenient. They're follow, trying to silence me. Follow Elon. There was TikTok, a package uh, for Teddy Fresh here that I walked over. When I walked over, Ela was there. Ela said somebody was locked in the bathroom. And I said, oh, I could, I could probably get in there. I, I could get in. I've gone into, uh, I've gotten into some doors before. And she said, I felt like you'd say that. I don't know what she meant by that, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, Ela just made a comment. She said, if we're going to replace one, we could just replace two. Just saying. Oh, come on. oh hell pro. yeah, Ela. Okay, yeah, let's. Getting to the bottom right. of this. You're, she's right, because, yeah, specialists will come. I mean, whoever's in, uh, repairing it, he could just do it twice. So we should, let's run that experiment. All right, well, Olivia's currently running next door to check the density of those doors and to compare it to ours. So, and then it's rumored that AB actually saved a orphanage from a blaze, a, ra a raging inferno on the way home. An orphanage, 20 of them. <laughs> thank you guys, though. Hey, good, good work, AB. Thank you, thank you. And Ela, I asked Ela first, I'm like, do you want me to break it? She's like, go for it. I'm not, I'm not worried about the property, you know what I mean? I just don't want to come out of my paycheck. Yeah, I, I think that's illegal anyway. <laughs> At least in California. <laughs> yeah, people were saying, how come we didn't just try taking the, the uh, handle off first? We did, but we couldn't uh, get it off. And she was pregnant, and people were saying we should just get in there. So, what, What's the relevance of her being pregnant? She can't be under too much stress. Right.
She's locked in the bathroom behind a she portable. She's a hero, door. and I was there. Yeah, yeah. Amanda says I'm a personal weight loss. I'm in a weight loss competition with Ethan. Oh, we are. That's news to me. Last episode, we were the same way, and now he's lost more. It's on. You have helped me back into my weight loss journey. I initially lost 30, 50 pounds. Oh, you're way ahead of me then, girl. That's awesome. Good 50. for you. I love that. Get inspired, Amanda. I'm inspiring people, <laughs> Sebastian. Of course, we, we, we joke, uh, A.B. He is, he's, yeah, the man. he's the man. He's the man. Yeah, um, so something happened recently with AI, and there's been a lot of people scared about the prospects of AI soon to be taking their jobs. And it's not just the blue-collar workers. We're looking at white-collar workers, office jobs, programmers, but now podcasters? This is terrifying because this threatens all of our livelihood. Uh, somebody posted this. By all, you mean everyone in the uh, Say what? By all you mean everyone in this room. Yeah, us. Right. This is existential, existential crisis to us. This AI, is this the future of podcasting? Asked this guy. AI conversation with Bill Gates and Socrates. Wow. I think very realistic. Fuck, I, we could never. We could never get guests of that caliber. No. Uh, I think very realistic conversations like this will be bread and butter in any streaming app. Yeah, we're having actually Adolf Hitler will be on our show next week. <laughs> I have so many questions for him. Uh, let's I'm a little worried considering the recent revelations about, uh, oh shit, I'm frozen. You just have to listen to me over this frozen shot. Uh, given the recent revelations of uh, Bill Gates' predilections with Jeffrey Epstein... I'm a little worried what him and Socrates might mm -hmm. have in common. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's take it one step further. Imagine this, but personalized towards you. Okay, guys, take a look. This is scary. Bill Gates. My dear friend Bill, I see you have brought a device with you today. What purpose does it serve? Greek. Why does he sound like that? <laughs> <laughs> Socrates was Greek, right? So why does he sound like that? It sounds like an idiot. See you have brought a device. I see you have brought the device. Uh, what the fuck? Today, what purpose does it serve? Greetings, Socrates. Yeah. This is a laptop, a marvel <laughs> of modern technology. It harbors an artificial intelligence. That Hold the fucking phone. So you brought these two minds together. You've you have violated the rules of time and physics for Socrates to come ask Bill Gates what's a laptop? Come on that can revolutionize heuristic education. Interesting. Imagine a world where students learn- <laughs> Nice natural pause there. Interesting. Mm. Like their own pace, Interesting. guided by a tireless tutor that never errs. Is this the MacBook you often Urs? refer to? Errs? Is that errs? Errs? No, no, this is a surface. You just need to remember that surface. Fascinating. But tell me, what is the essence of this artificial intelligence you speak of? It is a machine that can learn and reason. So, so what is interesting? Socrates is just playing like a dude that doesn't know anything about anything. Um, Why is that interesting? <laughs> They're like, you can feel like an idiot and not know anything, but you're Socrates. It's essentially just a Windows commercial. He really said, dude, you're getting a Dell. <laughs> dude. <laughs> Yeah, Socrates is playing the role of the caveman that is baffled by the modern world. It, it doesn't need to be Socrates. It I thought they were going to talk about philosophy or some <laughs> kind of interesting physics or something, but no, he's like, what is a laptop? <laughs> really interesting Why stuff. am I alive? What's happening? All right, so Olivia's back. Let me finish this and then we'll report in. Yeah. Sure. Oh, but so AI good. can be designed to strike a balance. It need not provide immediate answers, but rather act as a mentor Gently uh -huh. nudging uh -huh. students in the right direction while allowing them to discover solutions on their own. He's, he, I fast forward. He's still explaining AI to uh, Socrates. <laughs> At the same time, AI handles the mundane tasks, giving teachers more time to engage with students on a deeper level. But is it not through wrestling with these mundane tasks that the soul is strengthened and wisdom forged? 
Can a tree grow strong oh. if it is not buffeted by the winds of adversity? Right. Technology can be a tool, but does it not also serve as a crutch? Right. I fear that reliance on AI will cause humans to become complacent. Right. And thus, cease to engage in the very heuristic thinking you claim it enhances. Right. A ship's captain, for instance, must learn to navigate the seas on his own, for he cannot rely solely on his compass. Right. Just like a Windows user has to learn how to fix- This man knows what Windows is? <laughs> Just like Windows TM. It's Windows TM. It's the blue screen idiot. issue on their own. Blue they screen issue? You lost me, Socrates. Just like uh, how uh, Microsoft's stock price continues to go up, when other tech companies' stock is going down. It seems like a great time to invest in Microsoft stock. Don't you think, Bill Gates? And on the next <laughs> episode of Bill and Sock, uh, Bill describes poop water. How to <laughs> Bill make and that. Sock. That's awesome. Bill and Sock. Yeah, so uh, I'm not super scared yet, yet, but uh, who knows? So you great know. sweat. Who knows? But I'm sorry, there. Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. All right, so Ela says it's only 150 to replace the door. That's fine. So, Olivia, sh tell us your findings. Yes, I sent the photos in WhatsApp. Yeah. Um, it's hard for me to open them directly from Discord. If you can just maybe put them in an imager album for me, love. But give me your summary. Did sure. it feel to be the same well, density? You know, in terms of size, I think that it looks a little close. In terms of density and like me swinging the door open, Teddy Fresh was a little heavier. Okay, it's a little heavier. Yeah. And you kept the one he broke. I have a photo of the one um, here, ours, the one that he broke, and then the one next to it that didn't break. And so you're saying the one AB broke is more dense? Yeah, than the one we have here, than the okay. first one. So here you can see. Thank you, Queen. You're welcome, Queen. Well, hold on, Avi. This is not an abs <laughs> abs absolving. It just raises more questions. Well, even if they are, it's just in general, it's a thick ass door. That is a thick door. That's what she said. Uh, which one is this, Olivia? Is this ours? W which? Wait. There's Let me. Photos. Should I go try there to are break three. it? The first. Mm -hmm. First one is there. That's here. All right. Let yes. me go see how many third, hits third. it takes to b bash in our door. Let's do it. I, we're not. Yes, we are, Dan. We're not ready to. Oh, NBA, he's ready. <laughs> you, we're wireless, right? Yeah, we're ready, Dan. <laughs> should I lock myself this in the so bathroom? Stupid. Yeah, you should. I should be the princess. You should be in there and be like, You're "I'm me. pregnant." Somebody help! I'm but the problem before wasn't that the help. deadbolt was closed. That's gonna change things. Was the deadbolt stuck closed? Is that what was preventing the door from opening? No, it, the deadbolt wasn't working. I'm not sure exactly oh. what was causing. Oh, wait, go to the broken one. Well, this is a new game then. Yet the deadbolt wasn't fully out. Wait, it looks like it was. Cause look, this is, that's where it broke. Oh, oh yeah, it was out, it was out, yeah. but the, the the latch wasn't turning it. Like the- Yeah, this is, we we don't have all of the Hold on. experimental conditions. Was the deadbolt out all the way, Olivia? Um, you want me to go back and yes, look? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> this is important, thank you. In the meantime, get ready, because I'm going to bash one of our doors open. That means we'll only have one bathroom. Well, yeah. well, no, you could still use it. Just, you know what I mean? Just knock before you go in. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. Yeah. Come on, knock. We'll get it fixed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is off the rails after all, Dan. Did you not know what the episode we're doing? Yeah, no, I, I hear you. I just want to see people break stuff. I don't care. Bill and Sock, I love that. Uh, Socrates, uh, Bill, will you tell me about your adventures with Jeffrey Epstein? Yeah, I have a little bit of uh, unearthed uh, extra audio from that so podcast. Freaks, what do you think? Wait, it's kind of quiet. Let me, uh, let me boost, boost the shit out of this. A second. Uh, tell me about uh, Jeffrey Epstein's island. I had a similar island. Uh, so, Freaks, love... what do you think about Age of Cunts and Laws in modern <laughs> times? You guys really had it made back then in ovens, didn't you? Wow, that was terrible. What? <laughs> it's like one of the AI text-to-speech AI voice generators, but uh, their Bill Gates is not very impressive, apparently. So uh, it's uh, he was asking about age of consent laws in uh, right. ancient Athens. Oh, I, I I don't think they had any. That's I think he, anyone he, can, he said something about having it really I think, made. Back uh, then. I think in ancient Greek it was a one-party consent rule. Oh. But <laughs> 
16 is the age Much of like, uh, you know, telephone recordings. Yeah, prank yeah, as long as one person's cool with it, then... Right. When you go good. below 16, like 15 and stuff like that, that oh. then, go, you know, mm. by all means, stop it. Sansi says it's her boyfriend Richard's 21st birthday, Zach. Uh, <laughs> 21. Yeah. Fuck you. That bad? What, what was that about? It's everyone's 21st birthday. Everyone's 21. Just really grind your gears. I didn't know that. Nah, it's just, need some time to breathe. Hmm. Zach's being a little bit of a diva with the sound bites. <laughs> he is a delicate. No, I'm genius. with. The, I, I'm a little. I'm with him on this. There's no way there's that many 21 year olds listening to this. Podcast. Yeah, I, I just I, don't I, believe. I, I feel like there's got to be a, an element of troll. What? On here. Let's yeah. do the math. There's 30. Let's say we get. Let's just say 40,000 live viewers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. In every episode, there's like three people turning 21. Does that seem likely to you? I think we can crunch the numbers. If it's you take 40,000. Okay. 40,000 people. And then let's say divided by 365. We don't do an episode every day, but... but well, okay. no, this, uh, I'll, t I'll explain the logic. Okay. Divided by 365. So this is the amount of people that are having birthdays on, on any given day on average. So 109. 109. Right. And our, our, the average age of our audience, I would say, is 20 to 30, 20 to 28, you think? Yeah, I think it probably yeah. skews a little bit higher, but give me give me the number you think it is. I would say like twenty one to thirty five. Okay, that's fourteen. So divide that by fourteen. Divide it by fourteen. It's fourteen okay. pages. <laughs> and okay. what what's the number? Seven point eight. So that means that on any given day of those ages, there's seven people whose birthday it is. On for each of those numbers, so it is very possible, in fact, that there's three people having 21st birthdays. In fact, it's more than three by the estimation we've just done. Thank you. I rest my case. I think I did that math right. There should be seven people whose 21st birthday it is per episode. I'm not shitting on people turning 21 here. Just to clarify that. Just saying, y'all calling I, our audience liars. I'm here with I, them. I, I, I crunched I, the numbers. I, I, I have a beautiful I'm, mind. Listen, it may be true, but if it is your 21st birthday, if you could include um, birth certificate, photo of your ID, and yeah, maybe two forms of ID actually. Birth certificate would work. Social security, credit uh, card. Well, that's number. too private. Birth certificate oh. should be fine. Oh, okay. That's yeah. fair. I, I think that's fair. If you want the, <laughs> if you want the, I'm 21. Fuck you. <laughs> You got to reach out to one of the mods on big. Discord and provide photo. Uh, and ID actually, first starting October uh, 2025, it's going to need to be a real ID, uh, <coughs> not not one of the old style IDs. So, uh, so okay, Olivia's back. What did you find? I took a video of it. If you can, wanna. can you open that, Dan? Yep. One moment. I think the math is right. People are saying it's wrong. How is that wrong? I, I think it's even more per day, if anything. There it is. Love says it's more. Yeah. All right, here's the video. So, so it's not. It's barely out. It got stuck. It was, it was stuck. just a nub. So I think if we're going to... Well, gonna, the, the no, hole. It was, yeah. No. It was stuck, but once we got in there... It, yeah, it, it can't open now here, that it's bent. That's, here's that. what happened. She unlocked the deadbolt, and it got stuck part way through the closing it looks like it was maybe a quarter out the see the vacant thing you know it says vacant she was moving that back and forth and it wasn't affecting the lock at all i think it was fully out because those things so are i think small. the deadbolt was fully out then. yeah that that makes i don't think sense. so well the way the <laughs> door ripped open it it was the yeah. deadbolt that ripped it open exactly. so let's do this i'm ready so you're gonna slam open a door with the deadbolt closed with pregnant olivia with pregnant inside. olivia inside <laughs> All right, give it. Give me just one minute to get it all set up, okay? Okay. Yeah, so let me light over there. He's gonna take so. one less shit in there. Okay, and so <laughs> oh. the uh, the thesis of this experiment is that it's not that hard to break the door down, and this is just another layer of AB's deceit. Does that go? Oh, but it's low. Hold on. Can can we go back and count how many charges it took, AB? To bust it down, let me pull it up. Let's let's see how many charges. Today, somebody at Teddy Fresh got stuck at the bathroom. 
Edie, are you away from the door? Yeah. Okay, get a, make sure you're away from I'm gonna try to take it in. I'm gonna make an idiot of myself. <laughs> he locks that heel. door like it's that. I think I have my shoulder. I don't think I have it in my Give yeah. us everything you wanted to do. I can't oh. He, you guys can't see the screen. Okay, so that's one. Oh, oh my god, that's scary. Because you're going to break your shoulder. Okay. Here. Okay, get this one. Here. One. No, you're going to do this again. One, no, you two, two are yeah. One, two, three. Oh, oh okay, what? and now there's two people participating. So that counts as... You would have... Do all the kicks you want. That's three, or that counts as three, because there was so two. So we got one hit and two kicks. Yeah, it was a two kicker. Okay, two, two kicks. Three. All right, four Another two kicks. kicker. <laughs> a charge. That shouldn't even count, if I'm being honest. Yeah, we what? got kick. Okay. First of all, hard shark kick. First of all, AB, how dare you? She no, put God her whole heart. Her. Was... She put her whole heart and soul into that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if anything, the door pushed her. Yeah, we got it cracked. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. Wait, hold on. <laughs> at this point, and then we got screwdrivers involved. Okay, you ready, Dan? No. One more minute. One more minute, okay. <laughs> oh, did it break? Well, I'm afraid the door frame. I There's a lot. Part. There's a lot of hijinks going on. I think we can, we can conclude that with certainty. As we wait, um. Elon Musk is such a moron oh. that you know this whole thing with the verification was to stop impersonators and bots. Here is Elon Musk responding to a fake Louis C.K. Twitter account trans posting. No jokes on this one, so scroll past if that's what you're looking for. A Louis C.K. gave a point-by-point -point argument on why uh, trans people are annoying. <laughs> I don't know, essentially. And Elon Musk out here going, uh, sounds reasonable. That's amazing. <laughs> it's his fucking website, man. <laughs> also, I'll be, I'll be honest, I saw this and I got fooled by it for a minute. Like, the impersonating power is crazy on Twitter right now. There's a fake AOC account Mm -hmm. That Elon's been boosting. It's awesome. It's pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just considering what he said himself about uh, what's important. So, shout out to Elon, who's a giant fucking uh, loser. All right, we're ready. Here we go. That's one that's usually clogging anyways. Let me feel the doors. That is pretty thick, actually. That's fairly thick. She's having second thoughts now. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Did I get picked up? Ethan said that it's pretty thick. Well, yes. do you remember these are, these are pretty said, burly. These are <laughs> and you're saying that they're comparable. Yeah. These are these are thick doors. I'm, I'm not even gonna. I can't lie about it. Yeah. Now, what the difference here is? AB had a lot more run run up. I'm working with not a lot of space, so if you would please lock yourself in the bathroom at this can point. Can we do this one? This is the one that clogs, that's why. Okay, sure, we can do this Great, one. I'll Wait, I'll lock don't myself in pick. that one right now. Okay, and I think, in my opinion, the hinge should be a quarter. You think I should only put it a quarter out? That's what I think, yeah. You, you think I should let you cheat? Shreddy, watch out. Who says I'm cheating? Oh, Shred hi, Shredder! Shredder, you don't want to be in there. <laughs> oh, I know you do. Come on, you don't, wanna, you don't want any of this. Okay, so a quarter out. I yeah. think so. I think so. A quarter out? It's not even gonna shut. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like the experiment's a little... Is that not what happened when you no, did it? No, it was not. Like, do it all the way, Olivia. All the way? Yeah, all the way. Yeah. It okay. was actually even sturdier than that, believe it or not. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I swear, it yeah. would not budge yeah, at all. Apparently it's Fort Knox here. Um, we need another person to help me kick, because there was a double kicker. Cam. I mean, I've got no run up here. I mean, this is a joke. I mean, come on. You need a kicker? Yeah, I need a double kicker. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna start by, um, yeah. That's pretty heavy. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. That, is, that is quite heavy. Here, come here, Ken. Help that me with the shoe. double kicker. Yeah, time to shoot. That's high shoe. That, that is fairly thick. 
<laughs> this is, okay. can I just say, this is such a Michael Scott thing right now? <laughs> okay, ready? So On we, three. We're both kicking. We're both kicking, kicking. yeah. Okay, aim for, aim for up here. Okay, right. No, no, no we're, I kicked down here. We're, we're trying this to replicate. This is where you're supposed to... We're trying to replicate. We're trying to open the door. We're back trying to open up, the door. Back up, dude. No, 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 AB, no, no, no. AB. We're trying to replicate it. Dude, no, 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 no. Guy. No, dude. AB, just film. Hey, guys, okay. back. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, Cam, you ready? Aim for around here, because this is where the yeah. lock is there. Yeah, yeah. Back. Three, Ow. two, one. <laughs> All right. Christ, dude. Three, two, one. Oh, my Ooh, God. I heard a crack. Three, two, wait, one. Wait. Okay, so what? That's more shit. Right you're just gonna fall off the walls and shit. <laughs> okay, now it's just Ethan Cam. You're out. Right, right, one no. more, one more. No, 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 you you already did. Hey, I said just film, man. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, thank you. Good you job, started Cam. open a little bit. Yeah. That thing is fucking All strong, right, bro. You got this. All right, I'm coming in. <laughs> Olivia, are you okay in there? Elon, I'm sorry if he gets hurt. Are you okay? Yeah. She's pregnant, you guys. Uh, Olivia, stay away from the door. That's what I said yesterday. Stay away from the door. Ow! Ow. <laughs> Was that a joke? Ow. Yeah. I just love breaking stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let him play, Dan. Let him play. Oh, God. There's no way the deadbolt was in all the way. There's no way. There's no fucking you want me way. To try it? Yeah, go ahead. Now, let's okay. see. After we've Back. loosened it up, there's no way you're getting in there. Okay, we're good? Go ahead. Okay. Oh! Dude! Oh! What's wrong with you? Wait, Lena just walked into this. Here, pan over here. Ethan. Are you trying to break that was, that was really well done. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just turn around to eat. It now, you now notice. Look, look, look. Okay. This was the, the bolt. But the bolt, so, okay. Okay, yeah, it looks the same. <laughs> All right, bro, why'd you break my fucking door? Hey, you. We only have one bathroom now. That's fun. Wow. Sure, right? Okay, let me well see. The hero returns. I have to go You guys back out! All right, well, listen, I'm, I'm going to, first of all, me and Cam damn near broke that thing off the hinges. It was all you. Mm -hmm. It was all you. It was all me. Thank yeah. you. But I will say, I think AB saved that, that poor pregnant woman. Thank I think you. he did it. That's, that's all I ever wanted. I think he did it. Just someone to admit it. <laughs> I think he did it. Why are you so I good at bashing doors down, on this one, but Wait, that's... Worth it. Why are you so good at doing that? It's sus, bro. Uh, I don't know. I just, I imagine someone in distress and I just, I get the strength, you know? Can My we, hero instincts. Can we go light a car on fire to do <laughs> Mythbusters on the other allegations? <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. All right, AB, AB did it. I mean, yeah, Thank that you. was beautiful. I'll, I give you props. I give you props. You hit that door hard, bro. I, I got to give you props, man. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That was fun. <laughs> I do see a lot of people saying that. Also, I'm wearing Birkenstocks. Also, I'm seeing a lot of people say that I loosened it up really like 90%. AB did that. Everyone saw that. <laughs> but I'll, I give it up. That was amazing. <laughs> AB, how you feeling? I, I feel like I'm in the office, like the show. <laughs> That was the most like unscripted Michael Scott thing we've ever done. <laughs> yeah. Why are you guys so desperate for me to be Michael Scott? It's okay? a good thing. He's beloved. Everyone loves Michael Scott. Yeah, but come on. Clearly, huh? you're, you know, minus the. Uh, okay, then who are you, Dwight? I'd say I'm a mix between Dwight and. Uh, Don't say Jim. Don't you dare. Don't you say Jim, <laughs> Dwight ass. You can still be Jim, but you're not allowed to say it. Yeah, is, I was gonna say Jim. Is that what? Yeah, I know you. Take were. it back. Okay. All right. Well, gl I'm glad that AB got his the office experience. So, but he did it. He did it. AB did that. Everybody saw it. That thank was you, exciting. It was nice to win one. You know. That was. <laughs> a, I don't know how to move on from that. It's all downhill from here. Oh well, I have other top of the show stuff. You guys want to do the Lego now? Let's do it. Fuck it. So. um 
let's see here. The Lego time. All right. Well, Zach uh, and Ian, part- is there anything you guys want to say before we launch into this? Ian uh, directed this. It's, uh, it's collaboration, but it is his his baby. Um, uh, this is all Zach. He's a, he's a <laughs> it was a team player. effort here. People Aww. are saying AV is Ryan. That's that's interesting. I didn't want to speak up, but that's the answer. So who's Jim? I think maybe yeah. Dan. No, I'm Toby. Oh, you you're you're the G Look, man. I'm like I'm just a fucking digital screen. Hollywood you know what? And creativity together. You know what? I don't even get a camera. That's how Toby I am. Okay, hold on. You're right. I think Ian is Jim because he's yeah, like he above it all. He doesn't talk. He's just like, yo, look at these idiots. He looks in I'm the too camera good. And is like, how we gonna I'm too dumb good these for all are. this. Mm-hmm. Ethan well, Sterrell does that on that show. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> Dan is Jim. I yeah. A B is Ryan for sure. Well, hold. But okay, I disagree. With the that. Ryan arc is interesting though because. Michael at first was obsessed with Ryan. He's always obsessed with him. That's why I say it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Maybe I'm obsessed with you. <sighs> that is true. I guess the early season Ryan before he like turns evil, yeah. that's Ian. Right. He was cool at the start. At the, the first couple seasons, like they cool. went somewhere else with his character, but he was just the intern and Ian was the original intern, you know what I mean? And you always Wanted so much more from Ian than Ian's willing to give you. You know what I mean? Wait, Dan, they say you're Oscar. I love that, actually. I think I, time, people have said that I'm Oscar sometimes, too. I think Somewhere everyone between is Oscar a mix. and Toby. Yeah, I think Dan is Oscar and Toby. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That works. And then who is Kevin? I don't think we have a Kevin. I wasn't going to say that, Olivia. I'm not Kevin. I'm, I'm cre- mixed between Creed and Andy. Oh my, you th- you wish you were Creed. You are Andy. You are Andy. Andy. You are Andy's Andy. An interesting, yeah. Andy. That's good casting. That is interesting. And I, pl- I proudly wear that. Great I'm character. Andy, uh, Andy, Andy Andy Bernard. Andy, Andrew Bernard. What a show, huh? Anyways. I feel like the Our Office dog. is this generation Seinfeld. Can we say that? Uh, I, I wouldn't even say this generation because the show is like more than 10 years old now. Yeah. Okay, let's watch. Is there anything you guys want to say uh, before we launch into this? I'm Jim. Uh, <laughs> I'm very proud of what uh, we put together. want to give a shout out to um, Sam and Cam. Sam for the costume design. <laughs> Big shout out. Um, <laughs> All right, this is you're not accepting Thank an you to Oscar. Be yeah, and what is and the setup? <laughs> this is I'm Andy. just saying there's a lot of parts that went into this that I want to. You want to thank God? The end. You want to thank your parents? I want to thank Jesus. You want to um, t- you want to thank your manager? <laughs> thank my manager, Zach Lewis <laughs> in San Diego. Um, All right, Dan, play him off. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. <laughs> okay. I like right, let's roll it. Here we go. Zach called me frantic, telling me that I have to come over immediately. It's life or death. And he insisted I bring the camera. He said, you're not going to want to miss this hot, sweet action. I've sprinted over here to Zach's house, so let's make sure that he is all good. Hello. What the hell are you wearing, bro? What are you talking about? Zach, what is this? Zach? I'm sorry, I don't. Zach? Zach Lewis? I, my name is Lego Lou. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I, I had a doctor's keep, appointment. I okay, canceled. Okay, keep, I, keep your hostility down. We're at a private residence now. Hey, Bring it down and come on into my crib. Your crib? Why are you saying your crib? What come on in. Come hither. Let me present to you the piece de resistance. I don't know why I'm here. The collection. You said life or death. You were talking about me coming over here and filming your Legos. This is life or death, yeah. Yeah, what brand are these glasses? Is this Givenchy or what are these glasses we got here? They're Lego brand. And the sh- are these uh, Lego uh, shoes as well? or These are Jordans. You want me to do like a MTV Cribs of your Legos? Is that why I'm here? Yes. That's exactly why you're here and that's all you're useful for. I don't really think I need no. to do that. Lower your tone. I'm not, so my tone is fine. Bring it down and welcome to my crib. <laughs> you said that already. Lower your tone. Yeah, this is a house of Lego, house of God. We praise Mr. Gold here. Who's, and I, who's Mr. Gold? See, I, the fact that I have to explain myself. Zach, I don't know. I, 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 I think I should go. I right, should. look. Put, 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 put the camera down. Listen, look at me in the fucking face right now. I'm looking you at wanna you. You want to be here with me? Would you rather be at the office fucking working, jerking your dick off? Not really. So no. Listen to me. Look, yeah. look at me when you're talking. I'm looking. Jesus, look at me in dude. The fucking face. 
You're Thank stressing you. me out with this okay. eye contact. Okay, okay, okay I'll film okay, so your fucking film my shit. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hi, yes, now that attitudes are adjusted. Look at my uh, Laker collection. Dark Mall is the newest addition. Shout out to Bricker Builds. ATAT, -AT, Vader, Leia, Dark Trooper, R2D2. We got Yoda, Indiana Jones. We got the Up House, Boba Fett Detonator, Haunted Mansion. I love you so much. Walt Disney World Castle. Everything. My sneaker collection, Adidas, Jordans, more Star Wars, Land Speeder. They call me Mr. Gold at home. Could I call your family to verify that? Turn the fucking camera around. Okay, sorry. 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi. More Return of the Jedi. Jurassic Park, Baby Yoda, AKA Grogu. Actually, I got dogs that can you tell me pick those up? Yeah, oh. All right, I'll just kind of wait. Porsche 911 Turbo, 73 Turbo. More Star Wars on Star Wars on Star Wars. We got Seinfeld on top and then the office on below. How much money would you say you've wasted on Lego? I wouldn't call it wasting. I'd call it an investment. Investment in my future and in my <sighs> presence. Legos are an extension of me. Yeah. So you're really looking at me. There's the money shot right there. How much money would you say this is? I don't like to count. You don't want it. It's, it's rude items. for, don't ever ask a man about his financial. No, don't ask me. In toys. Don't I, how, watch your tongue. The hand, you get so intense. Watch your tongue. Can I get you a, a like a beverage or food or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of hungry. Sure. Okay, cool. I, I've made some stuff earlier. Would you like some glass of water? What the fuck is that? I can't eat this. I made a nice spring salad. Do you, do you, are you rejecting my food here? I, 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 I don't think I can eat this. I'm, I, I apologize. Where are my manners? You will, you like ice with your drink. Um. Look, I'm very well respected in the Lego brick community. I'm a Lego high roller. They actually invited me to a uh, VIP event. I find it a little hard to believe that you're like so highly respected in the Lego organization. Do you not see this custom pendant? I did tie? see that. That looks really good for, you know, sort of like an Etsy deep cut. Let's see this big exclusive invitation you got here. Come celebrate the grand opening. And you're saying they only send that to Lego? High rollers, yeah. This is like an ad. This is like a Lego Instagram ad. Like I think everybody got fed this ad if they've like wasted no. a bunch of money on Legos. No, they didn't. Everyone knows who I am, all right, motherfucker. I'm Lego Lou. You listen to me, I'm the cock of the walk, you son of a bitch. When I roll in there, everyone bows down to me and at HQ and at the annual meeting. So don't come in here and give me your attitude. You know what? Let's let's go to the Lego store. Let's oh, go find please. out. I want to see everyone. Okay. Bow at your feet. Please. Lego Lou. Mr. Please. Lego Lou. I, you're going to bow down to me too. I can't have you wearing that, those peasant attire. I just have like a shirt and pants on. I have an outfit for you. We're going to get you all no. swagged up. I don't really want to put that. No, you, you, you have to. Cut it for a second. Cut it for, cut cut it for a second. Do you want to go back to the fucking office? No, I don't want to okay, go Okay, look at me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. This eye contact thing okay, you're, you're doing gonna do... so intense. Hi, yeah, okay, so yeah, Ian's gonna put on the outfit. What the fuck is this, dude? I look like Bananas in Pajamas is about to burgle your house. You look fantastic. I'm gonna terrify everyone no. at the store. Just, just roll with it, you'll is be fine. Is this like a kink thing? Do you, like, you and Chantal wear this? No. Don't don't mind the stain on it. I hired an exclusive Lego VIP members only driver. We have a driver. We have a driver to take us to the Lego to store? the Lego store. VIPs only. Let's roll. Uh, I got a ride? I got a driver. Yeah. Wait, Sam? You're here? How'd you get roped into this shit with this guy? Zach literally made it seem like I had to get here immediately. He had a sick nephew or something that loves Legos. But like a make a wish thing? Yes. It's not important. Come on, Wait, we're late. We gotta go. Zach, I don't even think no. you have a nephew. No, it's all good. Huh? Let's go. Come on. Are you serious right now, dude? Stop. And cut the camera for a second. Okay. Uh, Sam, look at me. Look at me in the eyes. He has this thing with the eye contact. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Do you want to go to the office? I mean. We, no. What? No, no. Okay, really. so get your act together and let's roll. All right, get in, losers. We're going to the Lego store. Yeah, I'm on the way. Yeah, dude, I got the driver, they're rolling out the, you know, bricked carpet. This thing is so it's hot. Gonna, hey, excuse me. 
Can I take this can, off? Excuse I'm me. I'm on the phone. Can you yeah, even see I, out of that thing? Fucking idiots. You're excuse me. The mouth hey! Hole. I literally can't hey! even see. That's actually a good tip. Zip it. Use the mouth hole. Hey. Yeah, You're not sorry, even on the that. phone, sorry. bro. They are going to throw us out. I have a VIP credit card. You have a VIP Lego credit card? Yes. Here it is, but don't get your fucking dirty fingerprints on it. Bank of Brick. Bricked up VIP member? The name on this says Lego Lou. This is not a valid credit card. Yes, it is, according to who? You this thing is idiot. like made out of cardboard. I think these costumes are like a kink thing. Does your stink? Yeah, mine's, it's sticky. Mine smells like, like old Chinese food or something. Stop. Okay, sidebar. Do you think they'll have the Little Mermaid clam shell there? I've been meaning to buy that yeah, one. Yeah, they got it. They got it? Yeah. It's in stock? Yeah, they got it. On your best behavior. I don't see the red carpet anywhere. Shut up. Shut up. All right, all right, let's see. One executive star destroyer, please. And I'm a VIP. Uh, okay. That's not a real card, is it? Shut up. Uh, yeah, we could, we could, you mind tapping it sure. on the screen? Yeah, go ahead and tap that. Yeah, Nothing not, seems to be happening, is, Zach. Is your machine broken? You don't know. Is this? Do you know this guy? Is this guy a VIP high roller? Mm, I, I I don't think I've ever seen this in my life. Sorry. To oh, Lego Lou with the Lego L. Okay, well. It's like the mind games upstairs if you want to go oh. there. I'm getting sent to the Lincoln Log. Oh. This is kind of embarrassing for you, so you should talk about. Oh. You should probably go. It's not cool. All right, bye, Lego Lou. Oh, he's leaving. So sad. Did you get your Legos? Shut up. Did they kick you out? Shut the fuck up. You got your toys, buddy. Shut the fuck up. Don't touch me. I'm a god. I'm proving these fuckers wrong, man. No one fucks with Lego Lou. Lego no one. Shut up. Leave me alone. You know, I'm so important to that fucking community. They fucked me for the last time. I'm Lego Lou, goddammit. I'm gonna prove to those Danish fucking pieces of shit. I am the man. I'm gonna make the ultimate, most badass, kick-ass, amazing Lego set. Then they're gonna take me seriously. I'm gonna prove them wrong, those pieces of shit. Lego Lou is bricked up. They throw me out of the store. They throw me out of the store. I'm Lego Lou. I'm VIP high roller. I'm proving them wrong. No one does that to me. You're gonna do it me? You're gonna throw me out? I am Lego! <laughs> My masterpiece is finished! Yeah. Wow. Yeah, actually, wow. when Zach left the Lego store, we couldn't uh, show what happened, but Zach had like a Lego pressure cooker with nails in it that he left in the store. <laughs> who's, who's Zach? A Lego Lou, I mean, he's he's actually wanted by the FBI. Yeah. There's a yeah, lot of yeah. fatalities. Hi. Hey, Lego Lou's How here. How you guys doing? Good job, guys. Wow, what an exciting arc. And what a, may I say, what an impressive Lego collection you have. Thank you, you know? very much. Appreciate that. Um, Can it, I ask you what's your favorite Lego? I love the stuff? Star Wars stuff. All of them. Yeah. Do you have a single favorite one? Um... I have like an ATAT -AT Walker, not the big, big one, not the Ultimate Collector series, but the um, smaller scale. But that's a good build. Um, I love the Indiana Jones ones I have. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're I, a Disney boy. I like the Disney stuff too. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Lego Lou is here to unveil his master project, mm -hmm. and uh, well, the the floor is yours, Lego Lou. Prove them all wrong. <sighs> Wait a minute. Um, do I have a drum roll on here? I think I might. Oh. Oh, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a masterpiece. What is it? A very own H3 podcast Lego set. Holy Wait, shit. What? Can I see a close up of that? Is that real? Yes, it is very real. In Wait, that's real? It's real. It's real as rain, my friend. In collaboration with Lego Allison, 
Mm. Um, we put together a beautiful, one of a kind H3 podcast Lego set. Wow. Let me get a close look. Like, what the F? And we, you got the crew. Whole crew. You got all the sets. You got even the scorpion chair. How did you do that? We work with the best people in this industry. Right. It's the VIP access. <laughs> VIP access, yeah. Um, there's so many little Easter eggs in here. Um, we got Ian, AIN, Sam. We got Zilly Zonka. We have the whole thing. We have Cam, Lena, uh, the uh, cursed Ethan head, Ethan Ela, um, Olivia, AB, Dan in the scorpion chair. <laughs> it is one of a kind, true masterpiece. Unbelievable. Well, I have to say, I am very impressed. And thank you for honoring the podcast as your master project. Well, we have, we have to prove uh, Lego did me wrong, and they really fucked me, so this is a way to get back at them. <laughs> okay. Sweet. How long did that take you to make? Um, I, I personally didn't build this. Um, Ian, how long would you say it took? Uh, this came from Lego Allison. We have her Instagram uh, in the dock there. Lego the design Allison, she is extraordinary, very talented. She is, she lives and breathes Lego. She's bricked up. Yeah. She's bricked up. Yes. She's bricked the fuck up. And so, Zach, you actually got in touch with her through your mutual love of Lego. Right? Correct. She she messaged me and she's like, "Hey, if you ever want anything custom Lego wise, um, let me know." And Ian and I were talking about this idea of doing something podcast lego related and um, we, oh, she's, um i was like what is this it's us right now <laughs> <laughs> we uh we reached out to her and um we got it done this is incredible uh and uh, so, impossible things are happening here in the h3 podcast improbable I mean, things impossible things all of the best i things. mean the, the attention to detail on this set is ian you were saying the dimensions are exact yeah, I uh, measured the studio and sent it to her, so it is uh, to scale. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is incredible. We have a gallery of uh, up close as well in the dock. Um, yeah, the details on a lot of the figures are amazing. You should take a look through that. So go check out, we'll put the link in the description, Ali Song, Ali Song, Ali a Bricks. Allison Gale Bricks. And <laughs> close enough. <laughs> Ali, <laughs> hold on, Ali Song. Ali Bricks. It's there. It's just a different Ali interpretation. Song. Oh, you're right. It is Ali, Ali Song. Song. Okay. <laughs> oh, it says Ale Bricks. Okay. A true artist. Yeah, so... Uh, we'll and also, there's one other link someone to thank. Uh, James. Uh, James. Input Brick. Uh, he made all of the minifigures. Mini figures of uh, the whole So he group, made so. custom bricks. Yeah, he had to make those custom as well. Holy so smoke. Big shout out to both of the, both Allison and James on so, this one. So you are part of a vibrant Lego community. There's a lot of Lego love out there for Lego Lou. And um, although the girl at the store didn't seem to know who you were, that was weird. It was probably uh, maybe you went to the wrong store. It's I at HQ. You know, they told me they were gonna have a whole brick carpet. And it might have hurt a little bit, but it was a bricked carpet. It must be new. <laughs> it must be new. She doesn't know. Like we got it taken care of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she just. Oh, so it's her fault. It wasn't I, that you're unknown. It's just that she. She's new she was and such an amateur. And frankly, sh she's gone. We took care of it. It's done. It's <laughs> dealt with. It's yeah. in the hands of the Lego. We don't call them gods. We call them lot. The Lego lords. Yeah. Uh, this is Input Brick, also incredible Lego uh, god. So how does he do it? He makes these tiny custom Legos? Like what? It's, it's unbelievable. So here, is there a video of him doing it? Is he... It's just them twirling. And this community is so... Um, there's so much communication going on with, about like the next set. Like what, what's coming out next for Lego. Um, everyone loves building. I know Ian can relate. Um, Ian's a, a new builder. He's bricked up. Um, you caught the, uh, the bug. You're muted. You're muted. Oh. Yeah, I just cooked one up in the back here. So the best- Wait, just now? He got that pirate gift. There we go. Look oh, at that. Oh, that's the free one you get? 
with yeah. the purchase. Wait, it's so the, you, were, you were making them while you were switching? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think I get the time to build all these sets? <clears throat> you guys are building Legos at work? I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, really? I mean, do what you want on your own time, but Legos at work? That seems extracurricular. extracurricular. Um, well, here's the most exciting part. We have submitted this design to the official Lego website mm -hmm. where people can vote on if it should be a set or not. And I guess ours isn't alive yet to vote on. It, it's taking a little time to uh, process, um, but it should be up uh, hopefully very soon. And what does that mean if it, if it uh, wins? Does that mean that they're going to... What does that mean? You can buy it? There, there's a lot of factors that go into it, just fair warning, but um, if you reach 10,000 supporters on the Lego Ideas website, it get there's different tiers you get into. So we get past the first tier. The second tier is Lego is like, can we actually make this? You know, deals with licensing and all that fun shit. I don't um, see any over 10,000. Not even close, to be honest. I think with the power of the Fupa Troopers, we could get there. So we're going to get this set in Lego stores around the world. That is the hope. With a big picture of Zach's face on the cover. And Lego. they'll finally respect you. They'll finally those motherfuckers. I'm on the fucking Lego box. Do yeah! you know who I am? I'm Lego. I'm the cock of the walk, baby. So we aren't officially approved yet, though? Is that the problem? Uh, it says it should, it should go through, hopefully by the end of the day. We really? We have a link. Okay, okay. So we'll blast that out when we have it. Uh, Grace has an interesting theory, Zach. She, she speculates. Maybe she's pretending not to know who you are because you didn't ask her how her day was going. <laughs> <laughs> Consider that. Here's some close-ups so you guys can appreciate actually the, the intricacy, the craftsmanship I mean, of this custom Lego masterpiece. It's unbelievable. Look at this masterpiece. Yes. We, I forgot to mention, not an oversight, but uh, Lovebot he uses his very own Lego too. Um, very cool. Just uh, you know, it, it's just really amazing what. Uh, and I don't, I don't think the world of Lego is going to recover from this for a long time. <laughs> I yeah. think that uh, definitely not. Well, you know about Mr. Gold, right? No, who's uh, that? <laughs> Mr. Gold is the, it's almost the fairy tale of the Lego world. It's the uh, Holy Grail, if you will. Uh, uh -huh. Mr. Gold was so popular and they only made a certain amount of these minifigures that uh, the uh, Lego community was divided and went crazy. We don't really like to speak of those times, but um, Mr. Gold is a cool dude. Wait, what does what, what that mean? We even have the, the um, epoxied meat mountain yes or, i mean what the hell and then here's love bot <laughs> an actual cool. lego piece what is gold man can i get some gold man? Mi mr gold mr gold mr gold toys for sale what's the what is the issue here they go for a lot of money those this are this is 25 dollars. those are fake those are fake see replica <laughs> custom replica 25 is a lot in the lego world that's true for one figure like the, here, hold on. I, okay, oh, here's a real one. Three fifty. Here's the article about uh, Mr. Gold. <laughs> there. Um, that is pretty fire. So, what's the deal with Mr. Gold? Only five thousand of them were ever made. That's that's why. So people went crazy for it. Um, dark times for Lego World. Why would dark? Because we were divided. Everyone wanted it. People were, I mean, bloodshed <laughs> in the streets for it. So, you know? ha have you got your hands on on a Mr. Gold yet? I have not. I don't feel I'm worthy yet. No. Okay. Well, it's not that bad. Three fifty. I mean, you bought a Rolex. I mean, <laughs> that could be a uh, a. Uh, yeah, you think that's real? I feel like that's too low. No, it's a Fugazi. Like if yeah, you go back, like I saw one for like twenty five thousand. Really? Yeah. Twenty five thousand dollars, dude. I'm telling you, dark times. <laughs> that th you're, you're, Mr. Okay. Gold but, uh, Lego Man sold for. It's for one for five k there. Here it is in the original pack for four thousand four hundred. I'm I'm skeptical of the. Off this is the original it. pack number four three Yo, two one. Look, look at the price over time on BrickEconomy.com. I'm telling you, dude. So wait, what? Uh, what is? <laughs> I can't see the numbers on the left. What's the price we're looking at? Yeah, uh, we're looking at the current price. Uh, 
mean, this is this one is, here for four thousand. Also, it got to be a P PSA one or a ten. There you right, go. It's got to be Th rated. This is yeah. this is the real deal, Zach. Yeah. And may I suggest maybe a medallion, a Mr. Gold medallion, kind of to clout yourself up like a necklace. Do you remember when a uh, uh, little Uzi got the piercing on his forehead? Yeah. That's what I would do, with Mr. Gold. Okay, I yeah. like that idea. I'd I'd put it right there, you know, everyone to see, because um, it's it's a status symbol. Um. Here's one, twenty five thousand. Yeah. Oh but, my god. It's a high quality. Okay, one. but let's be honest. Looking at brick economy, there's not been one sold over four thousand. It's still a little, little overpriced. Yeah, I mean, they're asking too much. It's a nine point five. Um, I mean that's good. That's that's real good. Maybe it's the fact that it's certified like that. It's just this one gold figurine. Correct. Mr. Gold, huh? <laughs> there's also it, it, the, the 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 funny thing is the. The sets go for a lot of money, the rarity of them, or the rare sets, but there's also the, the minifigs people go crazy for. Like, there's a, a, a Yoda iHeart New York minifig that goes for a lot of money, too. Um, minifig? Yeah. A Yoda I Love New York <laughs> yeah, miniature figurine. Yeah. That goes Can you pull okay. that up for me? Yoda <laughs> Lego I Love New York. Now, this one, minifig. Zach, is 400 bucks, and maybe it's just... I, not in great shape, maybe it, it's possible. I it's not, up on it's not sealed. Um, I don't know, I but don't this know could the, be yours. I'm just saying, it's I, you know, it's weird. true. I, I just I question the validity of it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Brick Economy has this one for uh, let's see, that is so dumb. I'm sorry, it's just Yoda with the I Heart New York shirt. What do you mean? That's epic. That's I, not thank that you, dumb. love. Yo, I gotta get me Lego one of these. <laughs> no. I need this right now. If I could have one Lego of all the Legos and I have zero right now, it'd probably be Yoda wearing the I Heart Me. Oh, it's, it's pretty on. silly. It's pretty silly. silly. Honestly, the minifigs, it's a little much. I will I will say it's it's a lot. What's okay, that going oh. on? You know what? I, I, I'm a fan because it says New York I love instead of I love New York, the way Yoda talks. Oh New York I I'm love. In. Right. New York I love like that changes it. So changes So what everything. is this going for? Uh, this one wasn't as much as it. It looks like it's around three grand. Three grand. Whoa, yeah. three Which grand. Is, that's a steal. That's a steal, <laughs> right boy. Yeah, See, lo love is all bricked up. Can we go I'm back to love? Yeah. Place. Oh, this is very exciting. Can Mr. I search Gold. by like top pieces? Okay, so we have something to aspire to, Mr. Gold. But for me personally, I I would prefer to have the sets. Um, there's like. Rare Death Star sets, like the Star Wars shit, is really in high demand. Okay. Um, like Lego Death Star, it's out of production. Um, mm -hmm. some of the uh, Star Destroyers are a lot of money. What um, What are we talking here? A couple grand, twenty five hundred, three thousand. How do Legos hold in a recession? Do they hold their value like gold? <sighs> I'm not really stepping into the uh collector end of the market on it because i build it i take it out of the box you know, right which, which i i do it for pure enjoyment right i call it therapy all jokes aside lego therapy lego therapy right therapy um <laughs> i find it soothing i find it relaxing and it's just you know yeah i've heard that um actually legos hold their value better than gold so as oh. far as investments go it's actually more valuable pound for pound than gold itself is that so yeah, I heard that. Well, they got best of both worlds with uh, Mr. Gold. So you got a Lego and gold. Mm. It's Mr. Gold. You know. What's funny is a solid piece of gold mm -hmm. in the shape of Lego gold, Mr. Gold, mm -hmm. is worth less than the plastic. Than the actual Mr. Mr. Gold. gold. Yeah, and no, that's, that's true. That's just proof right there, yep. baby. <laughs> I think Legos, frankly, if you're asking me, is the currency of the future. I agree with that. I mean, crypto, buy, go fuck itself. I think the U.S. dollar needs to be backed by Lego, <laughs> bricks, by Lego yeah. economy. We're bricked up. You know? Lego is a uh, Danish company, right? Yeah, hmm. that's problematic. Hmm. How about that? Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to look into that. We're gonna have to well, invade. Gonna have to IP. I, I think We're America. Have to annex. Yeah, America needs to invade Denmark. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Yeah. We've been working on that for a long time on Swedish people. <laughs> when, when, when we pushed them out, like from the bottom of our island, mm -hmm. we stopped. We You're let right. them have the little island. Right. Yeah. The problem is, yeah. like, that's nice of you, Jennifer. America, we <laughs> need to own the means of production. Like, that's why we're constantly invading Middle East. So we need to own those factories. Americans need to be on the floor. Well, the US dollar is going to be backed by Lego. 
I mean, come on. The Danes? Well, the cool thing now what is, is that... that Hold on, we're having a technical Sorry. issue. Oh, we got a technical issue. Can y'all fix that, or is that like a technical issue? It's a technical issue. Okay, hold okay. on, we got just a little technical issue here. We have some technical issue, it sounds what like. What do we do about it? <laughs> what are we gonna do about it? Wait, you hit the button? Yeah. Why do you do that? Oh my god, Queen, you censored yourself in real life got too and close. with the button. I just got too close. That's amazing. That's really nah. amazing. I just got too close. We're not, I, you know, I'm not trying to give anyone more for the highlight reel. It's a good day. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just watch Hamlet. Oh. Well, thank you, Zach. Thank you. I w again, I want to give a shout out to Allison, to James, to Ian, to Sam, yeah. to yeah. Um, the person Whoa. at the Lego store was very... Jokes aside, very helpful. She was a fan of the show. That's great. Um, we didn't want to get her in trouble, so we blurred her face. Um, I heard you guys had an interesting experience at the Lego store. At first, they weren't going to let you film inside. They clocked us right at the door. And then so you guys found an opening. Yes. Um, again, I won't say how. I don't want to incriminate this person, but we, uh, we got it done. They got it done. We got it done. And, the, and Danes, I hope you're watching. We're going to get it done, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, uh, Zach, and Ian. Thank you, everyone. And everybody involved in producing this masterpiece. Thank you. Thank you for a peek into your world. We're all fascinated by the Lego world that Zach inhabits. Lego Lou, not Zach. Yeah. Lego Put some respect Lou. on the name. Okay. Lego apologies. Lou. Sorry, don't do the weird staring thing to me. Oh. <laughs> Please. Please, Zach. I can't do this right now. Lou is offended. Uh, he's walking off. Oof, yikes. I'm telling you, man. Make, check for any Lego pressure cookers. That dude's unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great job, everybody. What a fun time, huh? Hell yeah. That was awesome. Hell yeah. Y'all been cooking that one up for a minute. All jokes aside, it took forever to... It was actually insanely difficult and took forever to make that Lego set. So. It's real. It's real. It's happening. There it is. What more can be said? <laughs> now I know about Mr. Gold. Would you say that's the most valuable Lego, Zach? I'd say minifig. Yeah. What's yeah. the most valuable Lego? I'm curious. I'm seeing most valuable brick economy once again. Oh wow. San Diego Comic Con Spider Man. Sixteen thousand. Wait, what's special about this? This seems like pretty like standard fare. You could only get it at that specific event. If they you, don't make Spider-Man Legos? They do, but it, it, it's the special <coughs> Comic-Con one. And you had to win a what? raffle while you were there. But what is special about it? Does it look different? That's what, Probably it looks like slightly you, different. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's a little bit of a different Spider-Man, so it's so expensive. Yeah, that's how Lego we, does not make sense to me, No, but I, mean, that's, I, I love. A lot of collectibles are like that. Like A lot of the Star Wars figures from the 80s, like... Some of them that have any kind of like defect, those are the most expensive. Huh. Okay, the all these oh, like top Beanie Babies too, exactly. I guess. Yeah, all these top ones are from San Diego Comic Con 2013. That one was lit, bro. These are all from uh, the top three. You've got Green Arrow, the worst, probably the worst superhero. What's with superheroes bro, that just shoot a bows? Like, this sorry. list is garbage. You're not getting the top shit. Have you heard of the solid gold CP3O? I said like a like over that, hundred thousand dollars. That's a good one, love. I don't see it mm -hmm. on Brick Economy. Is it well, so? It's too, too, yeah, it's too, too much, much of a juicer. Yeah. Well, we'll send it to me. I've been uh, it, to give Lego uh, an idea other than the H3 podcast that I would like to see more C3PO from them. Yeah. Here is top ten most. Okay, so this is Brick Fact. So they made a solid gold 14K C3PO in 2007. It sold for 200,000. Now we're talking. But it was solid gold. Which is a mistake, frankly, because the plastic <laughs> is more valuable. 
Ninjago movie. Wooden piece. Guys, let's make the Legos from the Lego material. It, you can't make right. the most valuable ones and not use the patented Lego technology. Wood, you know, white gold, stop it. Solid silver, you know, and platinum, I'm not impressed. I want bricks, not metal. Right, Zach? We're bricked up. Black Superman suit. This one seems Lego, and it's 4,400. There's only 200 of these made. Also 2013. Also, yo, yeah. 2013 San Diego Comic Con, bro. You had to be there. Those were the days, man. Legendary. It's wow. like Woodstock for Lego. That was a crazy year for them, man. Oh, here, here it is. Yeah, 2013 Comic Con, San Diego. Shit. What a year. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Well, there it is. Another one. San Diego Comic Con 2013. Azog. What a year. Nobody's seen a year like that in Lego, in brick history. What year is it? I know. It's not 2013, is it? What year is it? <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Our friend of the show, Young Gravy, took a bit of a spill. Uh, and this one, I, I'm, this was 100% the venue's fault. I mean, what the fuck they got him walking on? Watch his feet. This wood plank just goes up. And he never had a chance. That boy hit the ground hard, too, I'll tell you. Like that... Hard to recover from that, but he did. He did. The people were really worried. Oh, shit! Good man, Gravy. He's a good man, that Gravy. Yeah, one more time, just for posterity. I mean, what do you do? You, I get bitch to the... Well, he broke one of his wrists, and then he broke the other elbow. Wait, he got... He... Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? In this clip. And he, like, pushes himself off the ground with his arm. What? All I can think about is the fact that it's, like, broken. He broke two yeah. bones? So, so the venue's got to be fucked. That was super messed up. Like, why did that board come up on him? That, that was super messed up. Okay, well, get paid, I guess, Gravy. That's the, I've been, listen, I've never seen a walkway for the artist that is this fucked up. It must have been like it rained the night before and it was all muddy, so they just quickly threw down some plywood. But like at across. least fasten it down. Yeah, yeah, no, obviously that was a bad idea. <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, our, our, our thoughts. I was disappointed too because it's like I see. Oh, somebody took a fall at a spill, took a spill at a festival. I mean, this is like our favorite genre of videos, but that one wasn't even that satisfying. It's, I can't. Yeah. I just, my heart goes out to him. Yeah. Because it wasn't even his fault, you know? Right. Usually they're just not paying attention. They're getting lost in the moment. Right. There's a hole in the stage, which is debatable if it's their fault or not. But there's a fucking hole in the stage, which is funny on its own. <laughs> but that one, poor gravy. He finished the show too. Legend. Wow. Yeah. What a guy. Shout out to him, friend of the show. Shout out. You know, my throat's starting to hurt again. It's like Stop. not getting better. Stop. You want throat coat? Stop it. Yes, I would love throat coat. Thank you. Coat I'm going to have coat. to like, if it doesn't get better in a couple of days, I'm going to have to like, I'm getting an endoscopy. Right. You were talking about that yesterday on See You Next Tuesday. My doctor recommended it. I don't have it scheduled yet, but I'm going to do it. Hmm. You know, it's like, ugh. it's freaky. It's crazy, and then apparently I learned people get colonoscopies and endoscopies at the same time, and the cameras meet in the middle and kiss. <laughs> because I learned that the endoscopy, they go down your esophagus, like into the, your the, stomach. Sistine Chapel. It's like, right. Yeah. Reaching they go down. into your stomach and then into your small intestines. Right. I was like, what the fuck? They're going into my intestines, 
That means that when they pull it out, there's shit on it. There's no way you don't get shit in your mouth. Well, you know, then it starts to become a philosophical question. When does food become shit? You know what I mean? Right. It's because it's at a stage of decomposition. When does life become life? Yeah, I mean, in a way, all food is shit. We're all eating shit all the time. Right? Well, on the spectrum... Everything of, is turning well, hold into something on. else. Hold on. Changing. On the spectrum of it, when does food become shit, mm -hmm. I mean, food is on the far end of, of the shit spectrum. Right. But it's like, you know, like the concept of like potential energy in physics? Yeah. Yeah. So there's like a lot of potential shit. Sure. Right there when sure. You're like the potential at an energy. Apple. I understand right. that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to see how that's related, though. You're just not thinking mm -hmm. on a high enough plane. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, so I, that blew my mind that the camera goes into the small intestines. And I says, well, that's funny because the colonoscopy goes into your intestines. I bet there's a world where the cameras can peep each other. Mm -hmm. And I wonder, right. if they, I wonder if they even they know. They get tangled. They get tied in a little knot. And you're like, oh shit. Dab up, just... dab each other up. <laughs> well, one thing I'm like, dude, you're like a fucking uh, your shish kebab at that point, just going straight through. It's a <laughs> straight up uh, <laughs> spit roast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, one thing me. I thought is like, if these two teams aren't communicating, I wonder if like the endoscopy doctor's like, what is that in there? There's something really <laughs> concerning in there. <laughs> and then the colonoscopy doctor's like, there is something really concerning coming out of your stomach. And then they operate on you. They never, they never, they don't ever talk to each other. Then they operate with the assumption that there's this. Okay, whatever. I'm going. <laughs> that was a weird meme hole. Throat cup. Thank you for the gifted. <laughs> I was just trying to figure out in that hypothetical: is your mouth in one room and then the rest of you in another room? Why don't the doctors there's, there, know there's, each other? There's one of those. Um, I see. There's a divider. Light happening. sheets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because. The colonoscopy team and the endoscopy team, they generally don't get along. <laughs> yeah. Mm. A big rivalry. Yeah. That's the classic dynamic yeah. between yeah. the two. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they're they constantly uh, fighting at, at the uh, hospitals and clinics. They don't like it. I was hoping they would connect, sort of make you like a Ethan Schwarma. You know what I mean? Ethan oh. Schwarma. Yeah. Put my ass on a rack and barbecue <laughs> me. I don't actually need a colonoscopy, though. But that that, that just blew my mind, so... <sighs> yeah, it sucks. But um, let me talk about uh, Dumb and Dumber. I've I've held my tongue. Great movie. Let me just talk. I, and of course, I'm talking about Babylon Preach, Dumb oh. and Dumber. All right. Well, let me um get the stopwatch set up here. Now, guys, before Wait. I know a lot of you guys don't want to hear it, and I get that, but just stay with me. It's going to be fast. I mean, these guys. When someone goes publicly and says shit about you that like you're doing blackface, you're kind of obligated to respond. And I've learned that the hard way, right? Now, obviously, some stuff is, you know, I, I did that shit, right? But other stuff's kind of crazy how they're, how they're reaching. So bear with me, please. Okay. Now, hold on. I, the timer didn't start. You definitely started. No, I'm setting it up. You're wasting time right now. No, Dan, stop the timer. Is, is he flaring up How right is that now? Not you talking okay, wait, about I wanted to do a it. bit. I wanted to do a bit. Stop the timer. Okay, I wanted to do it. Where's, I forgot to, to tell Zach. So I'm going to talk about something else, Zach, and then you play the squeaking sound. Got it. Yeah. So anyway, did you guys see that Jack in the Box used my sound? What? Crazy, huh? So famous. Wait. Oh, no, not the squeaking. I don't want to talk about them. Oh, this is the bit? We're in the bit now? I don't want to talk about Babel and Reach, but they're... Uh, why are they always showing up at this time? I get it, you guys. Okay, all right, fine. I'll talk about it. Ah! That was the bit. Please clap. I think All we right. have to restart the timer. And now at this point, we're definitely going to need you to restart the timer. Are you serious? I've pledged to keep it under 10 minutes, but Dan, you got to be fair to me. Okay? Don't be a hater ass. Okay. Can I start it now? 
I couldn't properly re-upload these. I mean, I couldn't uh, timestamp them. So I think he should have a couple more minutes. I'm just saying. What are right. you talking about? I just, I'm just saying. What are you saying? Just a couple. He's right. Just a couple. Because hold on. What does that matter? Hold on, hold on. They erased the video because they're cowards and losers, mm -hmm. and they can't like stand behind anything they say. They're such losers. What are you saying? Dumb and dumber over there, man. Uh, squeaky and Babylon squeaks. The more I watch Babylon Squeak, I realize how much Reach has in common with Coconuts and Barbados. Like, they are, this, they are so similar. Um, so anyway, yeah, they uploaded a video about me that they erased after a few hours. And I'm... Here, here they show... So they says, H3 loves black people. And uh, half the video... Their response to our three, four-hour podcast, three-and-a-half-hour podcast, is basically to... Just call me racist. They literally didn't respond to anything I said, which is exactly what I predicted they would do. Just straight up straw man, argue about something that I wasn't even ever talking about. But here's what they're doing straight off the bat. This is a charcoal mask. Now, I always see like create unhinged haters trying to say it's blackface. But it, there really are horrible stuff I've said and done. I don't see why you all need to put like this dumb fake blackface thing like I don't see why y'all need to make that some kind of point it's literally a charcoal mask like a ch why are they acting so a uh, social justice warrior by the way a uh, trigger warning to to uh, babble and reach charcoal mask uh, I'm typing I just look stupid no you look stupid you made me defend this dude okay guys trigger warning to babble and reach this is a uh, charcoal masks these guys talk about sensitivity, but my God, I mean, let's, it's just charcoal. So they're doing that. Also, I think they're trying to say something about Jeff's haircut on me being racist. People were theorizing. Uh, but, but I just have curly hair. I don't know what to tell you guys. I got to explain that shit. So, so anyway, let's get into the, the response. Now, it was like 20... It's 24 minutes long. I'm not going to respond to the whole thing because the whole thing is pretty much just silly bullshit and not them not responding. So let's see. Uh, there is a moment at 1240 where they have this great moment when Olivia was popping off um, and they played sad violin over her. Really classy. And again, this is just a classic response. You know what I mean? They're like, yeah, well... If you think that's crazy, listen to her with sad violin over her. Women be trying to ruin men's lives. It's cla it's just what they do. I'm gonna go out of my way to lie. I don't like it. him, so I'm just gonna go lie about him assaulting me. That is such an insanely hurtful thing to say about any woman ever. It's a very <laughs> humiliating experience to go through something like that, and for for anyone. I haven't even seen this. This this was honestly insane. When I watched this, this my jaw just dropped. I was like. Are you all trying to prove everything I said right? That's so, it's just, first of all, I am so much younger than they are. It's really embarrassing that they're participating in this discourse specifically. But if they can put out a million videos being like, no, I can speak from my perspective because I, ha like, people I know have been falsely, like, if you think that you have stance in this conversation, so do I, okay? So I can talk about what it's like, and um, I'm not going to play violin under whatever fucking story you're going to tell, but... No, of course not. Ridiculous. Because we, listen, on this show, to be totally fair, we, we don't engage. When I did that fucking podcast, we didn't engage in these silly arguments no. and, like, avoiding stuff. Like, we actually talked about things, which they're incapable of doing because they're dumb and dumber. I mean, they really are. Real quick. First, golf queen. Second, Dan didn't pause the, the timer when she was talking. Dan, Ooh. Dan, 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 stop the timer. Part stop the, the timer. Thing. It was 10 stop, for each stop it. <laughs> okay, we need to have a sidebar. Now, if Olivia's talking and she has every right to, Dan, that should not sap me of my 10 minutes to discuss this. Are you trying to silence her, Dan? If you don't know who Olivia is, she's the loser of feminist you, researcher who spends all her day on Reddit boards and thinks that's a research, okay? Is that you, Dan? Is that what you think about Olivia? Is that? You know what? I'm not. starting to agree with me? Rich Lux, I gotta say. Dan is jealous of me? 
I Dan, think, so I guess Jeff, no, I understand. So you're, all, admit, you're all saying that Olivia, what Olivia has to say, isn't worth any time. I, I, that's what all of you are saying. I respect I what Olivia that. has to say. I, it I seems say like you, it's valuable enough no, no, to be I'm included saying, in the conversation. Didn't say but that. since all of you um, think that Olivia no, 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 no. isn't I'm saying, worth the no, time. I'm saying a man mm. shouldn't be allowed to allocate some time to her. She could have as much she time as she needs. She can only speak needs. when you oh, say, Dan. Yeah, right, Dan? No, no I, I didn't interrupt all right, stop, her. Stop, stop, I didn't stop, interrupt stop. her. Stop, Let's stay focused. I didn't interrupt her. We're staying focused. Dan, you know in football they have overtime or the extra time? That's uh, what we're doing. That's his, so, so right, now, football, soccer. Yes, yes, they do. Wow, football, football. you a bitch. Yeah. Okay, so so now we're the timer's getting being increased to twelve. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's just that's just logical. So you can go ahead, but we got extra minutes on the clock. Okay, and especially your grandstanding, you know, should get extra time for that too. Thank you for the time. <laughs> All right, so here we go. <laughs> I can't stand Dan. Dan is jealous of me. Dan is jealous of me. I love him so much. Dan for that. blocked me. All right, all right. So here it is. Here it is. That like someone claiming being a victim or surviving oh, something is them oh. like wanting to be certain. Once again, their trademark. Uh, we're gonna laugh instead of actually making a substantive. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's also response. I I'm keeping in mind that they're not. Like Amber Heard was was added after. They're just y laughing at me. They yes, were yes, looking yes. at Amber Heard when they were giggling. They're not giggling at their joke they made. They're giggling at literally me talking. About I, it. I think you you didn't hear close enough. Did you hear what the floor said? Oh no! What let's you hear? Say? Yeah. Okay. No, I, in the video you'd like. Oh yeah 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 yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, she said hello. So so Reach is shaking his finger at at Babel. Let's get a, a glimpse into his inner thoughts. Right. Mm -hmm. That is interesting. I didn't consider that. Mm. So, th I think their point is they're like, oh, well, Amber Heard lied about stuff, so therefore all women are like, let's not trust anyone ever. Like, we never said that people don't lie. You know what I mean? It's so weird. You guys also, just why are we bringing up other women and starting new conversations? Let's talk about this and let's stop laughing at me because it's so <laughs> ridiculous. Thank you. So <laughs> 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 is so incredibly wrong and in informed and uninformed that like you one million percent should not be making content about this because you're teaching young men who don't know anything about this and then you're telling young <laughs> women to not talk to each other, to not talk to anyone, to not tell anyone that something happened because Idiots like you. And you know what? You I love that they played your whole statement, yeah. which was poignant. I do hear what I said, and I still agree with. They it. don't respond. Right. They actually don't even respond to it, and that that's the that's the consistent <laughs> thing you'll notice through this. Oh um, no, they did respond. They said, <laughs> "There's so many." <laughs> uh, I'm gonna actually I'll play it from here because uh, it's all pretty good from here. This is all just like Ethan's racist compilation. And the thing, so in that compilation, like the majority of it is the PewDiePie uh, N word controversy when I had um, iDubs on. And obviously, mm -hmm. you can, this isn't about Babylon Reef, so you could pause the, you can pause the timer. <laughs> yeah, this isn't about Babylon Reach. No, you're how is this not about, this is about their video. No, no, no. You're it's about, it's time. about the PewDiePie iDubs thing. Yeah, Idubs gonna, wasn't involved in that. You're no, so the reason I because Idubs came on the show a long time ago, his catchphrase was at the time N word, F word, as he discussed in his recent apology video. And at the time, I was like, How do you get away with saying this word? And then I said it, which was obviously incredibly dumb and wrong and horrible. And you know, my th my thought. I love that the framing was how do you get away with that when now it haunts both. <laughs> yeah, he could. Well, you he, can't. The answer was he doesn't, and neither do you. So there you go. Um, and I said it a lot because I was like, oh, I'm saying this word. I'm saying this word. So when they put together a compilation, it looks like it's all from the same instance. In that case, does it make it better? I'm just saying, like, yeah, I got you. And, and so. Um, Am I really not counting this time? No, this no, no, no. This is a different to a topic, you know. Okay. But some of the stuff in their compilation is actually super fucked up. They took when I was doing the members live yesterday. Someone was like, "What was the deal with the Unga Bunga one? That one seems super fucked up." 
And I was like, I don't remember saying that. I'll have to go back and watch. And what they did is they cut out me reading. We're definitely talking about them. I mean, you're literally referring to them, right? Okay, now. at this point, okay, at so this point, it's the fair. Question. What they literally did was cut out me reading super racist comments on the Joey Salads video that I criticized. That was one of the first times that I really alienated myself from my audience to call out Joey Salads for doing the super racist, super fake prank where he put a trump card in the hood and then all of a sudden like 10 black dudes just come out like a street fighter bonus round and start breaking it. With her boob coming out. And I was like, this is so racist and so obviously fake. My, and a lot of the fans got super angry about it. And I looked at the comments on Joey's video. I was like, look how fucked up this is. I was reading the super racist comments. A lot of them had N-word. And, you know, obviously, again, I shouldn't have said that. It's fucked up that I said that. But for them to cut that out and then make it seem like I said it is crazy. Because, listen, I've done and said things that are fucked up. You don't even need to make it up. I don't know why y'all are trying so hard. And it's just, it's fucked up, right? I mean, in that case, I was actually you were calling out as, racist as, Joey uh, Salads a, and the right, commenters. The, the video, like, he had paid those people to come break the car or whatever and then just lied and said, oh, this just happened naturally. Or right. Whatever. Yeah, I mean, and then, fucking insane. <laughs> and, then, and then someone who was in an apartment building overlooking it, you can stop the timer. Someone was in an apartment building overlooking, filmed them, setting it up. Wow. And then Busted. I was like, th I fucking told you guys this was fake, you racist pieces of shit. And um, they clipped me talking about that to make it seem like I was saying horribly racist things, which is really fucked up of them, frankly. Mm -hmm. And they did that a few times. Now, my theory at the time, which was fucking insane and wrong, is that... If I'm not using the word in a malicious way, if I'm not using it as an insult, if I'm just talking about the word, then I can say it. And obviously, uh, that was super ignorant and not something I would ever do today, but it's, yeah, it's super fucked up, you know what I mean? And so, I'm not even mad that they rolled the clip because I said those things, I did those things, and I'm happy to own it. I'm, I, you know, I'm happy to talk about it as many times as I need to, to, to explain how I fucked up, right? And how I, I'm sorry for what happened, right? I'm not trying to hide from it. I'm just being straight up. Like, yeah, I said, I said those things. So um, I'll talk about it as many times as I need to, right? That was me fucking up. And a lot of them are, and you know, uh, and here's me trying to evolve into a, into a better uh, person, right? And so it's super underhanded of them to pull shit that I didn't even fucking say, you know? That just really is sad. Obviously, I'm not going to play the mega compilation because I'm sure we'll get demonetized or age-restricted. Probably. Because it's just it the N-word. Um but uh, I just wanted to, to touch on that. And it's the same thing with saying I did blackface. It's like, come on, guys, just stick to the facts at least. Because the facts are bad enough. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're bad. I admit that, man. It looks bad. As I'm not even mad about, uh, I can't even complain that they did it, frankly, because that's what happened. You know what I mean? But it's not, by the way, a response to my criticism. It's not to say, well, you're racist, therefore... Um, Therefore, your opinion is invalid. That's a weird. That's a weird take. What is the leading theory for why they took it down? Okay, so they removed it. Yeah, I have a few theories. Well, here, let me go on, and then we'll theorize. Because one of my theories. Oh yeah, and here, dude, this was. Look at this. The when I was reading the Joey Salads comment that I was talking about, <coughs> they isolated the audio from the video and made it seem like some found footage. Made it sound grainy and stuff, so, so to obscure from where it came, and me with the charcoal mask, to make it seem so much worse, too. Like somebody, this is somebody who maliciously, intentionally 
has knowingly cut this clip out of a video where I was criticizing racist people and put it in to depict the opposite. You know, that's crazy to me. It's from a video. Why, why just pull the audio? You know what I mean? It's fucked up. So, uh, let, yeah, the, is that video's public <clears throat> still? I mean, you can find it. If I could draw your attention to the screen with the timer on. Well, I have 12 minutes, so chill. Okay. So, at 18 minutes, there's hey, another hey, one. You flaring up right now? Yeah, okay, stop. They start making fun of my Tourette's, which is pretty wild. And, whenever and you I have literally it. said that, mm -hmm. but because... Ethan's gonna Ethan. We got this. Anyways, you have the tape. I don't know how, it's not that hard to understand the difference between sex and gender. Sex and gender are two different things. Are you guys listening? I'll explain it. Sex is your biological- One minute warning. Stop the timer. I'm talking about sex and gender. What's that got to do with them? This is their video. No, First no, no. Women, this is my video. No. We're watching their video. No, nope, this is my video. <laughs> this is the deleted video. I don't see them. All I well, see the is me. Stopped. Thank you. I just look stupid. Gender assigned at birth. Ah! I'm breaking hey, the hand. Tourette's. All right, now I don't give a fuck. Before, though, Tourette happened when- Can you pull up? He has Tourette's. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> sure. Uh -oh. I mean, that? Whenever you're more- like, They didn't strict. get a strike for this, right? No, it said- Okay. It says it was removed by user. Clearly, I mean, here I have the. Did they image. have like gotten a warning from their YouTube rep or something. Like, hey, you gotta pull this down. I don't. I just think don't so. get my my guess would have been one of these two moments: the Olivia Amber Heard or this one seems more because like I know YouTube's policy is like <coughs> being like, oh, he has a disability. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna make fun of it. Like yeah. that's like. Definitely. In TOS, terms of policy, like, this one for sure. Yeah. Right. So, Public opinion. In my experience, as someone who's got a ton of strikes, they just give you the strike. They don't be like, "Yo, you don't take get a this heads down." Up. Mm. But uh, uh, can you send me the the screenshot? And the part that's fucked up is that, like, if you go to the comment section of this video, which is erased, or their second video, which is dumb and pointless, it's just pure anti-Semitism, like fifty percent anti-semitism and um i unearthed a video these guys are actually just deeply deeply anti-semitic it turns out uh which i which i'll show you guys if you want to see that that's post timer so we'll have to do a poll on that uh <laughs> i personally find it interesting but uh we'll, we'll you guys are in the power of that um do you have that screenshot but i seen a ton of fucking like anti-semitic comments like Ethan pulled his special Jewish strings with YouTube. It literally says removed by user. And somehow I'm being blamed for them removing the video. They're saying I copyright striked it. And they, they don't explain it either. So they leave it totally open for their, their anti-Semitic fans to just draw any psychotic conclusion about why they removed it. Why wouldn't they explain it at least in their second... So I'm seeing in the chat that apparently... Last night on a stream, they said they removed it because, and I'm just reading the chat here, they didn't want the smoke. That is, okay, that's a, that's a, that's a joke that has been going on. They say Joaquin said this on the stream and they say, uh, these nuts in, or it's like a these nuts joke. Oh. They, they definitely did not say they don't want the smoke. I mean, why would they say that? <laughs> here is, um. Here is a uh, reach not making fun of my Tourette's. This could be a good, this is a good new profile picture for me. This is totally me when I'm having a uh, Tourette's. Where's the clip? You guys can't find the screenshot of I them? sent, it's above the picture Cam sent. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so here's the uh, conspiracy theories. Why did the video get taken down WTF? He used his Israeli special attack. Ethan has friends at YouTube because he belongs to a special group that gets different rules than us. There's a country, uh, there's a country in the Middle East full of people like Ethan. The comments are all straight anti-Semitism. He's this crazy Israeli clown comedian. <laughs> oh, come on, Jordan. I'm not Israeli even. Every Jew is just Israeli to you. Um, but uh, You're here, Israeli citizen. Okay, whatever. Splitting hairs. <laughs> Jews 
<laughs> splitting hairs here. <laughs> uh, here, here, this is the joke. They say, hey, yo, to everyone in the comments section writing for uh, Abba and Preach's dick over a video of themselves they thought should be deleted, you're doing too much. Do better, you gremlins. This guy says, so where did they admit because that it was taken down as if that is the only reason a video can be taken down? They literally called in and said it on uh, Pekin's live stream. Going to have to be a bit more specific than that. Search Pekin didn't bring up someone with a live stream. Can you tell me more? He says, yeah, bro, just search up packing both of these nuts in your mouth. Fucking got him. <laughs> I thought you'd like that one, love. Yeah, that was pretty good. But like no, where's the screenshot thing. of it says deleted by user? Can't, uh, AB, I don't these see it. nuts. I... I believe you. No, I want, I need to show it. Because someone, at least between the two of Close us. the timer? Someone needs to show receipts. The timer, been, the timer's done. Okay, we're 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 not sticking to the timer. No, we are. You're already a minute over. Yeah, but you keep interrupting like me. Five. I think we should restart it. Yeah, you need to pause when I'm looking for something. Throughout. Here is the here is the message. Video unavailable. Video was removed by uploader. Okay, so it's like they intentionally leave it open to somehow allow people just to blame me, like I did some shit. Uh, but here they are talking about my Tourette's. So he needs to... He, 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 he. Signed at birth. Ah! I'm breaking hey, man, the hand. Right, I don't give a fuck. Tourette, the Tourette happened whenever you're more stressed. So he needs to... He, 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 he's flaring up right now. Yeah, flaring up right now because it's just... I gotta, exp I, I gotta explain that shit. Yeah, Reach's dumb is flaring up right now. Uh, Jesus Christ. He's better, he's better... You should take a note from Coconut and Barbados and just quiet down. You know what I mean? I'm a hidden bigot, but I gotta explain that sh Bruh, hey, I'm not laughing at your Tourette, I'm laughing about the fact that you're getting- You, be, right. you look stressed right now. Yeah, cause you said that shit was easy. You now again, I don't care. People have been making fun of my Tourette's forever. I'm a public figure. It's so obvious, right? So it happens all the time. It's just ironic to me that they're going to pull all this silly- Some, some not silly, but a lot silly accusations of me being racist while- Calling me restarted in this video, or they said the restarted word, and he's like imitating my disability. They always use it. I've seen it three or four times. He, he tried to make yeah. a point. He's like, yeah, I can say restarted. What? But at the same time, if you're going to say like, oh, don't uh, use this word against this marginalized group, and I'm not saying it's as bad, okay? Or maybe, it, I don't, I'm not the, I'm not the, authority on to say which is worse or what whatever i'm not even make that comment but if you're going to say restarted and make fun of my disability in the same video that doesn't make a lot of sense you're not keeping the same energy you want to explain let's hear the next one restart the timer because he made fun of my tourettes from zero but I'm also to add on to that it's funny how in the previous video ab's talk talking stop the timer please yeah stop top. yeah please go ahead ab speak I your mind sometimes so Penetration. if you could give me some runway uh, yeah, also they talk about in the previous video how you are trying to fit this narrative when the girl <laughs> called in that, you know, you were misleading just so that it fits your narrative, whatever the hell they were saying. And it's like, that's exactly what they're doing in this video with the clips they showed, you know. Dude, everything they do is them just context. pure hypocrisy. Yeah. It's, it's wild, I mean. There's no excusing things you said and you've, you've acknowledged them before. You know, you've, you've, of course, and yeah. like I said, I'm happy to acknowledge them as many times as I need to because obviously... If I have fans or even people who know about me and they hear that, they're going to think that it sounds really bad. And they're right, right? Mm -hmm. So I should have to explain myself as many times as I need to, okay? But my problem is them lying. Because yep. the shit they pulled is like super, 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 super racist. And I didn't say that. Right. Uh, restart the timer for ableism, Cracker Smoker says. Hey, let's go! Are two different things. Are you guys listening? I'll explain it. Sex is your biological gender assigned at birth. There's female and male. All right, now let's go on to the, more, the other part, which I think you're having a lot of trouble with. Gender. Mm. Gender is how people express themselves as a social construct. <laughs> as a social construct. Yeah, hold up, hold up. Let, let him finish his definition. For Again, let's just laugh. Because he went on this rant about women are women, dude. I don't care if they're trans or biological or gender. I don't see a difference. 
So let's not engage with the conversation. Let's just laugh bro, no. <laughs> and act like it's the point is silly. It's funny when <laughs> someone tries to look like, hmm, I'm comfortable. I'm very comfortable. Yeah, very. Can I comment uh, on Reach's, uh, he has a very interesting fashion style. It's like he puts on everything in his closet at once and heads out. Like if you look at their videos, this dude just puts on everything in his fucking house. It's awesome. And listen, I'm not one to uh, criticize fashion uh, because listen, I'm not the best dressed guy in the world, but I got to explain that shit. You got to be hot, man. I kind of like his outfits. Can I just say? Yeah. Like all, I didn't everything say they're else bad. Aside, it's just like uh yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. It's it looks like he's ready to take on a riot or something. It looks like he's wearing like riot gear. <laughs> Riot sheep. Okay, this one maybe this fits a little weird, but usually he he's he's got pretty. No, you guys should should definitely see how he dresses. This man is just putting on his whole damn closet, and it's awesome. This reminds me when you're joining like a bicycle gang, they give you a prospect fake mm -hmm. vest at first before mm -hmm. getting an actual cut. That's what. No, oh, he's in Hell's Angels. Prospect. <laughs> <laughs> what is the concept like, agenda? You're not comfortable with this. Mm. Okay, brother. <laughs> brother. <laughs> we are going to talk this. Uh, okay, gender. Gender. Gender with a G or a G? <laughs> gender. Gen you know gender. Okay, we, this same one. I have no idea. I, if I had to take a guess, I think it is this. You are a transgender. I think that's what, what they're quoting. Oh, you think they're quoting that preacher that, guy? That Your video? video? No, that's I, giving them a lot of credit. Yeah, I don't know what definitely. they're doing. Okay. Maybe that's Gender. just how my brain thinks. But Yeah, no, no. no. <laughs> you think in sound bites. So that that's true. Sense. I mean, I'm, I'm proud of you for <laughs> spotting that. Gender is how people express themselves, right? As a social construct. And I said it real quiet so you guys could hear. And on a spectrum, people identify uh, with different genders based on how they feel and how they want to express themselves. Do you see that they're two different things? <laughs> what is it? He says he just said gender. So you guys still don't understand. They I said it's so slow. That. That's what I did. And you guys even watched it. You played the clip. But y'all still somehow don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the extent of their commentary. <laughs> they really are dumb. I, I find it interesting how Reach co carries himself as some kind of intellectual. He is very dumb. I find that interesting. I, I, I don't know that he ever learned how to dress himself either. I think that could be uh, stemmed from that. He just does it all and hopes that it works out. It's, it's people that, that like they, they identify with different genders. And it's how That's you feel yeah. on the day of and the spectrum and how you express yourself uh, according... as in gender. You guys understand? Yeah, it's really simple. This is why I have... So they're trying to make it seem complicated. I see, yeah. <laughs> Pretty interesting take by them. Good, a uh, very cool uh, uh, counterpoint they've made. Five researchers for me so we can come up with good answers. This is what we do. The man docked someone on a lie. Okay, so that was that, and then there's just one more part I want to play in the beginning. They go on to continue. Uh, this is it, I promise. To continue to defend uh, Fresh and Fit in the funniest way possible. If you are familiar with Ethan Klein, um, and then I'm done. The podcast with his wife, Hassan Piker. Super <coughs> energy today. Cause why my wife, Hassan Piker, got him. I wish. I wish I could get my hands on his girthy cock. You and Hassan. <laughs> Y'all are gay. <laughs> gay. It's not very girthy. Y'all are gay together. That's what he accused me of doing. It's a slow venture, gay. but Hassan? I give it a light six. Hassan, he's a lady. He's gay, and Ethan is gay. 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 Super gay. Gay. Y Who is gay? Y'all gay. gay together. Who is gay? I feel uh gay. Watching so who's hour. gay? Podcast of Ethan Klein just killed my lifespan by three years. So we won't try to make it through this. Isn't that the thing that uh, the fresh and fit dudes say about them all the time too? It kind of drives home your point that they're really not that different. That that they're in a relation. Ab and preach. Oh yeah, they use that as an insult. Right, they're always saying that these guys are gay and they're, they're they gay use together. that genuinely as an insult, and right. they just did it. And they just. They got so defensive. His wife is Sean Piker fucking gay. gay. They got, gay they literally killer. got so defensive about <laughs> us comparing them to fr uh, Fresh and Fit, which is great because 
think I struck a nerve. Yeah. Oops. They're so mean spirited. Yeah, they're nasty. And you know what's kind of interesting? I and you you can stop the timer because this is a, a this is a sidebar. I learned some lore about ABBA and Fresh and Fit. They used to be homies. ABBA went on Fresh and Fit, got clouded up by them. They had a, a high viewed episode and they were homies and they were cool. They were friends. And then a month after that, of them being homies and collabing and shit, he puts out a video uh, talking shit on Fresh and Fit. And so he snaked him in a sense. Mm. He's like, all of a sudden you're homies and then you're, you just make a video bla blasting them. Now, of course they're wrong about everything. But I understand why Myron, who I'm sure doesn't have a lot of friends, um, got really upset when he thought ABBA, who was probably just like one of like his few friends in this world, uh, snaked him. So not a, so he's a snake too. Yeah. But you know, I mean, they're right. They're, they're yeah, but right. then they laughed at Tourette's and young girls getting raped. So they're still wrong. Always. On that, they're right. Yeah. <laughs> On the, so mean. on the important issues, they're just not that different. Yeah, she's the loser feminist researcher who spends all her day on Reddit boards and thinks that's research, okay? Thank you. Um, here's my husband, by the way, or wife. They got us. Yes, sir. <laughs> yep. You got me. You are a bitch! <laughs> mm-hmm. Just for you guys, so you wouldn't have to suffer the same fate. So let's go. You liars, you cowards. The thing about them, ba uh, Babylon Reach, is that <clears throat> when you look at them holistically, you I don't think they're that much different than Fresh and Fit. And in some cases, worse, because I see them serving as a gateway into this really toxic manosphere, uh, transphobic, misogynistic, women be lying type of thing. They are Fresh and Fit. Did that hit too close to home for you, buddy? Okay. She basically... Again, what a response. What a fucking poignant. <laughs> that was... I mean, the, the commentary they provide is unparalleled. We just described their bad date. And at one point, she said that he lifted up her top to see her breasts. So now they're talking about the fact that this girl is fresh and she was insinuating, heavily implying something extremely inappropriate happened, okay? They're trying to say it's not that kind of story. She didn't, she was just talking about a bad date. That's her story. Let's listen. Let's check it out. In this narrative, even though she said, oh, I don't think he did a crime or whatever. Listen, the way you've said this story, the way that you guys have framed it, the fact that Ethan keeps implying it, the fact that most of the people in the comments- It was one time. It was literally one time. Said that's what he did. We all understand what you're framing, okay? You can't say, I didn't say he did that crime. He's so desperate to believe that, but it's just not true. There was no framing. Yeah. There wasn't really even a crime alleged. It was just, he's an embarrassing loser. Oh, wow! Hold up, preach! Preach! <laughs> Classic commentary. Do people, what he has to say. do people realize, I wonder if, do their audience realize that they're just watching two dudes laugh? They're not, they don't say anything. Preach! <laughs> Preach, 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 preach. Yo, this is good. This is good. I'll tell you just what. Was kind of right. like, I get, like, what the fuck? What is this video? The thrust of the call. And who's Absolutely. framing when they're titling their video fake Me Too allegations when that was, was no allegation? It wasn't a Me Too it was, allegation. It was, just, it was, I went on a pseudo date with this fucking weirdo. Right. And it was a horrible experience. You have no story. Yeah, and she never claimed that he did that. She never fucking claimed it. This. This is a bad, this is very bad. I think like, he may yeah. have assaulted you. I mean, at this point, I did he lead with no. tongue or no? All that happened, right, that. is that you... That, <laughs> so what's, what's, that was, I said, he, there was one time and he framed it as a question. And then they showed the clip of exactly that. And what's interesting, they cut her saying, no, he didn't do, he didn't do a crime. Right. And you being like, okay, okay. But what's also <laughs> interesting is that Myron straight up admitted that he did do this and i posed them a direct question i says what do you call it if somebody goes up to a woman lifts up their top to expose their breasts without consent what do you call it they will not answer that question at one point because it seems like him and her are on the same page on that moment yeah. said that sounds like that might be a 
And she said, no, there I don't. There was one brief moment where she said he lifted up her top. You didn't say that's a song. You said that kind of sounds like a song. It, I mean, I don't know. It's it does kind of sound like. It's kind of funny because they're, they're like, yeah. But then they're showing that we're right. And then they just laugh. That, and then, and then Myron goes, yeah, it happened. And I made fun of her lopsided titties, too. <laughs> Jesus. Insane. Like, what? again, he, he that clip that they showed, based off of what she described, I don't think it's that big of a stretch for you to ask that question. He lifted up her shirt and she was very uncomfortable by it. Does that not it. sound bad? He shouldn't have lifted up her shirt. That's fucking crazy. He didn't dispute that. I ask you guys, what do you call it if somebody lifts up somebody's top to expose their ass without their permission? There wasn't really even a crime alleged. Is that just a joke? <coughs> or is she just, he's entitled to do whatever he wants to her because it's 5 a.m.? There wasn't really even a crime alleged. He that. did lift up her shirt and look at her. Now, if somebody does that without your consent, what is that? It Shame. wasn't a Me Too allegation. Let's do a they're rotate. They're more, they're more Got concerned em. with 35 year old Myron's. Yeah, being exposed as being kind of cringe. Hmm. There was no framing. There wasn't really Dude, even a crime Dude, their video is insanely dull. Can we stop, please? Well, Why hold on. Now, on? now, now this is, I, I told like you, this I'm... is the last part. This is my last part. We're like 45 minutes into this. This you is my last minutes. part. This is my last part. God, okay. So they showed all that, and their response is breathtaking. They go, they don't go, what do you call it? When, a, when somebody lifts your top without your consent. Instead of answering that, they say, see, they did make allegations. That was their point. They're claiming that there wasn't anything alleged or there wasn't any framing, yet in this very podcast, they're still framing it like this man assaulted. Well, what, is it? What, what do you mean? call it? What does it mean? What, what does, does it, it mean call? when you lift up someone's shirt without their consent and look at their... Yeah. Guys, why, why is that silly? Is that so weird? If this young girl wanted to, she, it's up to her how <laughs> she wants to classify it for herself. Why do they? What ask? Myron did is he did reach forward and he pulled up her shirt. He admitted to sexually expose her. He did something bad. It's up to her what she wants to classify it as. But it's crazy to kind of insinuate that he should have done it. They, it's so interesting that they act like that is so absurd. They're like, yeah, that's obviously not a crime. Like, what the fuck? Did he admit to doing this? You lift up someone's shirt without their consent and look at their... Guys, if you Google up the definitions, that shit fits right under. Yes! It's... Exactly! Myron <laughs> admit! He literally admit to doing it! How can they miss the point so hard? That's so... Oh. You know what? Listen, Ethan. It's fine. I'm not even alleging or trying to frame it that you're some kind of anti... Okay, so... so and then here's the N-word compilation where they... They forced that in to the video. Uh, so that's it. Okay? Is everyone okay? Now, I, back, return to the question. Why do we think they removed the video? Right. Because that, that is a, somewhat of a mystery. Because it was fairly well received by their audience. Despite the... Well, not despite. It's almost like... A, uh, and coexisting with the incredible amount of anti-Semitism in the comments. But they are so wanting to distance themselves, re-uploads are being removed. They do not want any of this on the internet. I'll leave that question up to you to answer. Which implies to me that they're embarrassed to some capacity of either making fun of my disability, playing sad violin over uh, Olivia, or... Basically acknowledging that they did assault her? I don't know. But they are a bunch of fucking losers. They can't even stand behind their own goddamn video. I mean, what morons. Uh, so I don't know. What do you, I mean, at first I thought maybe it just got mature rated or something. And then they're like, oh, if we can't make money from it, we'll just remove it. But their intentionally vagueness around why they removed it is very interesting. I don't know if you guys have any thoughts. All right. No thoughts. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, yeah, that's about it. 
Now let's do a poll, okay? And you guys are the... Here is me and my uh, wife, by the way, on our special day. Aww. Look Beautiful. how happy we are. Beautiful. Do you... Are we not entitled Yay. to be happy? You know what I mean? Love is love, dude. Here's Reach's response. Isn't that awesome? Ah! He's so cool. His commentary is so good. So uh, let's do a poll. Do you guys want to watch me prove that they're anti-Semitic? Yes or no? Uh, it's going to be a whole nother 30 minutes of Babylon Reach. Just being up front. If we vote yes. And then there's no complaining. We're just going to embrace it. <coughs> and it's very good. I'll tell you guys, it's very good. I think the video is extremely, uh, extremely damning. I was kind of, my jaw was kind of aghast. And Dan, I hate to tell you that yes is a, a winning at this moment. Which did you vote on, Dan? I created the poll, so I can't vote, but I would definitely vote no. Dan would vote no. I mean, you spent like 45 minutes on a, on yesterday's episode, which I know is not for everybody, but... Listen, when somebody does an N-word compilation, you gotta respond. It's just, some, it's just the way it is. I didn't have a choice. All that being said, uh, I'm, I'm a man of the people, Dan. If you don't want it, you better get your votes in, Nose. You better get your votes in. We are talking about anti-Semitic Babylon Reach. Mm-hmm. They're defending, they defending Kanye, saying DEFCON, going DEFCON on all Jews. That's really good. And they're defending Kyrie, whatever his name is, uh, sharing Holocaust denial books. Now what? You guys want to do it again? Because there's passion. There's passion in the comments. The no's are very passionate. The yeses are very passionate. We're absolutely torn on this topic of Babylon Reach. There's a bloodbath in the comments. <coughs> okay, let's restart the poll. Now that people with their heads are clear, I'll give the no's another chance to win because I see the passion. So let's do it one more time. Do you want to see... <laughs> Babylon Reach, defend Kanye West saying basically death to all Jews. It's very interesting. I'm telling you guys are going to like it. it it's not, li not going to be boring. You guys are going to like it. It's good. But I leave the power in your hands. Do you want to see Babylon Reach defend Kanye West? Good poll, Dan. Do you want it? Okay, no, this is a bad poll. Wait, was <laughs> were they confused before? Do you want to see Babylon Reach defend Kanye West? Yes. Well, now it's confusing because it's the other way around, right? But how could it be so different the second time? I think mo a lot of people didn't read the text and just clicked what they clicked last time. But, the but it was the same first. last time, right? Yeah, was no, it? The answers are yeah I think it was the same. Exact same. Okay, good. This is good. I don't I don't want to subject you guys to more. Uh This is very interesting. I think we have a bad poll here. Okay, so here's what I'll do. Put a link in the description so you guys can go watch it. It's uh called what is it called? And you you know what I mean? I, well, we won't watch it. Kanye West Abba and Reach. It's called uh Kanye West Jews Dot, 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 why folks don't care about anti-Semitism. <laughs> I love how they put anti-Semitism in air quotes. Hitler. So here it is. Can you put it in the description for me, Dan? Sure. This is our compromise, okay? And I want to show you guys. They go, Kanye, Kyrie, and the Jews. Why folks don't care about, quote, anti-Semitism. That silly, goofy thing. That's not really a thing. It's awesome. This video is wild. You guys are going to love it. So go watch it. Great. It's awesome. Okay, there it is. We've evaded uh, another 30 minutes.
of Babylon Reach. Dan is ecstatic. They're just boring, dude. I, I agree. I They're agree. They're just such a snooze fest. <laughs> you know, I'm usually for a little bit of drama and shit like that. But these, they we don't get. They don't juice the views. Nobody gives a fuck about <laughs> album. Well, they they don't. They don't even say anything. What's interesting? That's exactly right? it. It's like there's there's not even like any meat. It's like we can only make fun of their creaky floor so many times. It's like they watch a clip and then they laugh and then they imitate your voice and then they watch another clip and it's just there's nothing they even there's not there's no like argument to to argue with. It's just right. boring. Uh. Oh, well, here, one thing I do want to show, just to read a few comments to show you guys what kind of... Now, I'll say this about our audience. You can go through our videos. Anyone, go to the comment section. There are... You will not see racist comments. You will not see homophobic comments. You will not see anti-Semitic, transphobic comments. Our fans, I love. I'm very proud of the community that we have uh, fostered here. And we just don't do that shit. But, and this was part of my problem. Back when I was this enlightened centrist, the comments, you see comments of people saying super racist, homophobic, anti-Semitic shit. And I got to the point, and the Joey Salads one, which they took out of context to say I'm racist, was one of the first times I saw all the comments. And I was like, these are the people that watch my videos? Leaving like these insane, like insane racist comments? And that's part of what prompted the change. But they don't have that enlightenment on the video about, quote, anti-Semitism. He, Kanye, has broken the show business rules, the rules of perception. If they're black, it's a gang. If they're Italian, it's a mob. But if they're Jewish, it's a coincidence and you, you should never speak about it, Dave Chappelle. These company execs are really doing Jewish people a disservice. Public sentiment went from Kanye's wild, Kanye's off his med, to maybe Kanye's got a point. And Kanye was punished for what? You can't bully and be the victim. You can't have both. Jews are bullying. I, the whole premise in this is crazy. Straight like Nazi propaganda. Um, you guys should watch it. Great point from Abba. This isn't helping to reduce anti-Semitism. It's galvanizing it. Uh... 90% of people reacting to Con Kyrie's outburst. Now, Kyrie shared a documentary about Holocaust denial. It's just straight up anti-Semitism. It's about, it's about Jews. Kyrie got canceled. Dan, what did he say? Goes and search for the documentary. Let me see what it's about. Watches it and now supports Kyrie. They're like, yeah, the Holocaust didn't happen. It baffles me how people are trying to silence. And it's, it's so hard. They're, they're just so, it's so fucked up, this video. But okay, go watch it yourself. Thank you. I'm done. Uh, have a good night. Uh, have a good night. V then we voted no. Okay. All right, what else we got for you degenerates? Hold on. Okay, go ahead. I let's just go, want to be left alone. Let's go back to our goofs and gaffs. James Charles has the longest snake in the world. Interesting. What is the longest snake in the world? Just kidding. <laughs> Wait, what's with his um, eye? Um, what, uh, what, what the fuck is uh, going on? Looks like he just woke up. What is the longest snake in the world? His Maybe eye he has looks, a sty or something. That's unusually puffy. World? You know what a like an eye sty is? Sometimes you get like a zit on your eyelid. A, it's called a sty? Yeah. Wait, look how fucked up it looks when I go uh, back. This. That doesn't look right. <laughs> It what looks is like happening, he has a, James? It looks like he has a sty. Only bad people get styes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. My sister used to get them every week. There you go. I agree. Look Kidding deeper. Look luck. into it, people. Oh, Olivia. Do, 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 do. <coughs> <coughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, uh, was the, Why did he put his tongue out like uh, that, dude? Nasty. He's nasty. Sister snatched. <laughs> Volunteer, oh, dude, this video is so sad. Volunteer LAPD officer gets swarmed by bees. It's actually, it's quite interesting. The whole way this video plays out is kind of a fascinating social experiment. From the chopper down to his partner, who's just sitting there watching. 
<laughs> Fascinating stuff. That's, that's what I'm most curious about. Is what the fuck happened with the car? Let's take a look. Is that man? There's some kind of uniform, perhaps a city worker. He's not letting him in. He's like, no. He fuck locked you, the dude. doors. And the the bees still around him here. So that other car backing up to get out of the way. Poor get guy. Get out of the way of what? Away. <laughs> Imagine the. He pain. tried to. He had a chance to escape, but his homie wouldn't open the door. <laughs> Go back. We got to analyze it because, like, I'm so baffled by this. Because it looks like the door starts to open. Oh, is that right? Let's take a look. I think. So this is a volunteer LAPD. Yeah, which. This is a nightmare. Imagine volunteering. I think I would LAPD. die if this happened to me. This is so scary. Some kind of uniform. Are you allergic? Oh, it does open a bit. Yeah, does it? And so does he. Yeah, I'm does, allergic. Does the driver reach over? And <laughs> Boy, they don't want any bees. Like, no, fuck that. Wait, it did look like that. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> no you, you don't want to sit down when you have a bee. Like, no, it was, it was, it you was definitely want to get out of. You want to get away. No, it was. It, Love's right. It was him. It was the dude that's shooing yeah. them away. He he closes the door. He starts yeah, opening and closes kind of it. Uniform, perhaps a city worker. Of yeah, um, I see it. He closed it. Yeah, you want to so. run away. I have another one. Sit down. Okay, so let's keep Some watching. Sort. And the, the bees still around him here. So that other car backing up to get out of the way. Poor guy, they're swatting these away. Imagine the pain of that. He eventually trips there, goes oh. to the girl. Oh, yeah. Okay, he hold on. Himself. He now, this is funny. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it is, right, Dan? Backing up to get out of the way. Poor guy, they're swatting these away. I mean, tripping is almost always funny. This, is, this couldn't have gone worse for him. It couldn't have gone worse. I mean, this is like a comic book. And his homie's just backing up slowly, watching it happen. And the chopper's just like, yo, look I, at this crazy can we move, shit. Can we go back to the car thing? I don't understand. A, B, and love. What that is your man, argument for... Kind of he right. opens it and then closes it. Why, why is it not a good idea to get out of the swarm of bees? So when you sit down, the uh -huh. bee is just going to come in with you. You don't want the bee that in the car. That would be It's better to be outside. Yeah. You don't want the bee it's in the car. It's definitely way better to be in the car without yeah, no, every just, bee. You guys are definitely wrong about that. Wait, well, is it wait, 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 There's a though? huge swarm. So, obviously, some are going to get into the car, but you are going to be getting stung by bees either way. I would rather get into I the car I know, but in stop in, in, in the, the moment, of bees. In the moment, I don't think he's thinking about it like that. He's thinking that I'm, I have, I'm more likely I could run away from it. Than, AB's yeah. right. I agree with AB, unfortunately. Whoa. You're right, Dan, Whoa, but I don't think down. he saw it that way. I think he just wanted to run. Okay. That's what I see. It's I mean, you definitely don't want to sit down in a car. You rather would run away. Now, this guy is not very fit to run. He didn't yet, run very obviously. fast. <laughs> exactly. He's not very fit Sprint, to run. Sprint, so man. Maybe he should have stopped. Run. Down. Backing up to get out of the way. Poor guy there swatting. But he just, he hits the ground Imagine hard, the too, boy. He eventually <laughs> the the Oh, yeah. He slammed his head into the ground. I feel so bad for him. <laughs> oh, that's another th angle. Frankly, this is really serious. If you get stung that many times, it could be life-threatening, even if you're not allergic. Here's another angle. Run, man. Run for your life. Oh, shit. Oh, the door shit. The door 100% opens and... Wait, this is fascinating. This was an Encino. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this yeah. angle is you great. work over there. Dude. They're yelling at him, get back in the car, get back in the car. Dude. They may have been talking to the public. Why was he so casual, though? Look how casual he is right now. Like, <laughs> he, he's not taking this seriously. Rattle your dags, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Shredder. Okay, so let's take this slowly now, Dan. Let's do it in slow speed. So we can fully engage with this. Quarter speed. He reaches. Oh, it's interesting. You can hear the buzzing when you slow it down. <laughs> what do you guys think about that? Yeah, he just decides, no, I, I think it's going to be bad to sit down at the moment. Oh he's God. panicking. <laughs> he's in so much distress. He's, he's panicking. <laughs> okay, so at this point, let's go back to the chopper. He, he hurts himself. He does get up. He does get up. There is some blood there on the scene. This woman's uh, the a other officer there demon. in the car, apparently not getting out of the vehicle. Perhaps <laughs> the bees are still there in the area. This man, again, video here, does get up 
And at the current point in time, he is walking down the street, perhaps trying to get away still from those bees. Man, highlight, breaking news. Man swarmed by bees in Encino. <laughs> those, those bees are ACAB. For sure they are. <laughs> For sure. Space bees. True. ACAB is shit. Have not gotten out of their truck. Oh as my well. God! Somebody really help him. Feel for this guy here and can't imagine um, what he's going through. There he is. No, he's, just, he's he's surrendered. He's like, just take me, bees. <laughs> <laughs> On the ground, looks like now uh, somebody approaching to give him some help here. Uh, are there still bees in the area? Fire department person swatting them away, perhaps. Just swinging a towel. There is that man there? That's their best effort. They're like, man. Even the fire is like, man. Fuck the LAPD. Dude, the, the guy in that car that's driving it, seeing your, like, partner, like, rolling around bleeding, and you just sit in the car is so funny. He does not give a fuck. Is this a real photo? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, he got messed up. He got stung the fuck up. I genuinely think I would die. Probably should have got in that car. It's alive! I would have sprint If my ass was that, I would have sprinted, boy. He didn't look very agile, though. Just based on his... If only there was an enclosed space directly next to him where he could have gotten away from the right, bees. Right, right. Well, in the moment, if you ever have just a single bee around you in the moment, there's a. I, haven't you I always walked not away? Far, I, have, I grew up right around where this video took place, and we had a lot of bees. <laughs> you and, ever get uh, jumped by some fucking bees? Like, <laughs> not like, not like my oh girl like this, but oh, oh. God, Jesus. You. But I mean, I've been stung quite a few times, and. His partner's trying to back up and tell him, get in the fucking car, dude. Dude, he, he sucks he, ass. He's gone at this point when he falls. It's like, just move, go on without me. It's like Gandalf and when in their Mordor. Fly, you fools. Just fly. <laughs> oh no. Poor guy, honestly. A cab is a K cab, but damn, I just even feel bad Dude, for him. Dude, this is like an anime fucking power up right now or something. <laughs> like he's pushing you through it to yeah. There's get no up. power up though. There's no payoff. Though. Right. <laughs> awesome. Um there it is. <laughs> Breaking news out of Los Angeles. <laughs> Thanks for the honey. As with all things. He has a GoFundMe now. Yeah. For, uh... Honestly, like, I think I might give. I feel so bad for him. No, I mean, I him. feel bad for him. Yeah. And, I mean, he definitely got... I mean, he's fine, he, mm -hmm. but he, he was seriously hurt by... Shouldn't the LAPD, he, like, cover his medical costs? The I mean, city of LA is, yeah, actually. They yeah, are. I mean, I, okay, I guess good. This is just uh, this is a tip for entertainment. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, then his son him. wrote here <laughs> for his services. <laughs> this is just a tip. Thanks, bro. <laughs> thanks you did good on the that show, one. bro. But his son says here, we recently found out he'll be on the hook for his own medical expenses. I think the I think this was put up before it was because I, I saw an LA Times article yeah. about how. The okay, that's good. Gonna... That's good. Yeah, there was an article today that said. I wonder if he said uh, it's happening while he's being stung. I'll bet you he did. <laughs> no, no, it's happening. <laughs> Literally. He should have tried to shoot the bees. I think that would have worked. <laughs> yeah. And in the role of a lifetime, uh, LAPD has probably used that excuse. <laughs> when they <laughs> shot an innocent person, they probably already used it before. Yo, this might be the first GoFundMe that's like been successful. They don't. They, there's no photo. <laughs> it's just a blank slate. There's just no photo. There's nothing. <laughs> At least with the man like on the ground being swarmed by bees. Cl click away for a sec. Or Ian, don't I'll show I'll refresh. It. No, it, it shows. It's kind of brutal for oh, me. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Oh. There is a photo. Yeah. Poor guy. This wasn't loading. We, did we not show that? Good. Thank you, Ian. You're a legend. And AV2 for giving a heads up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wasn't that bad. He just looked really beat up. So there it is. Uh, we salute you on this Memorial Day, <laughs> the fallen heroes, who uh, who uh, no, he survived. gave the ultimate sacrifice. He survived. Yeah, but he still gave the ultimate sacrifice. He's a veteran of the B Wars, but yeah. we don't need to acknowledge him. Not today. The Not sad today. part is we need those bees, man. 
Hell yeah, we do. <laughs> we need them bees. No, I'm on the I'm on the bee <laughs> side for the most part. Yeah. I, I, we didn't see the first part of the video. Who started it? We don't have enough context. Yeah, maybe he provoked the bees. Maybe he said something kind of mean. Bees are pretty chill. Yeah, so he must have had to say something pretty bad. He talks shit on their queen. Yeah, prob. And no one talks shit on our queen. <laughs> he, pro he profiled those bees. He treated them like wasps. <laughs> oh, that's unforgivable. See, yeah, he had it coming. I actually mean, got upset because <laughs> the bees were wearing the t-shirt that said, uh, <laughs> black and yellow lives matter. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? Black and yellow lives matter, he said. And the, the cop got <laughs> triggered by that. I mean, just talk about a Funny. shitty day, man. <laughs> it's a doozy, <laughs> for sure. It has to be top ten at least. <laughs> oh, Diablo Four comes out tomorrow. Uh, I don't have time for that until I play, uh, beat. Yeah, Zelda. I, I'm still deep into Hyrule. Yeah, I'm right not now. the Kingdom of Hyrule. I guess Diablo when more release date, June sixth. That is not oh, tomorrow. Yeah, that is not tomorrow. Not even close. Not even close. Is there a week early release for pre-orders, maybe? Is that a thing? Oh, maybe. Maybe it goes up early for... Because tomorrow would be seven days. Great uh, Lego releases tomorrow. Oh, yeah? What's coming out? Uh, Pac-Man machine. Um, they got some cool Disney shit coming out. What else, Ian? You tell me, Lou. You're like a um, Lou. What do you mean? Tell me. Oh, we talk about this. Um, yeah, that, that's what I can think of off the top of my head. Oh, early access starts in 24 hours, Dan. Oh, but I can't well, again, do it. I, I'm, I can't. I'm not playing. I'm not. Like, I'll, I'll play eventually, but I'm, I got things to do. I got I, I got depths to explore. I've got. Let's to be real. The Demon King. Let's be real. As someone who's played a lot of Diablo in my life, yeah, there's no shot that the Zelda game isn't. So much better than that game. Yeah, no. it, it it's so it's gonna be so much better than that game. No. Diablo is one of the most overrated series, and this is someone who's clocked probably thousands of hours playing it. One of the most overrated <laughs> series of all time. <laughs> so, that's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Hell yeah! I just I I I can't stop being tickled at this for <laughs> the B guy. <laughs> They're still giggling about the bee guy. Wait, which photo? Not the one on the GoFundMe, but the, the one. The one of him <laughs> collapsed on the floor, just giving up. Where do you see that one? Giving in, in, in to in the our, bees? In our Discord. I just. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. I just. All right, Zach, you need to donate to his GoFundMe. I Go will. I'm GoFundMe. going to hell for this, but I mean, god damn, dude. <laughs> you should get it. Make a Lego set of the scene. <laughs> Oh, I like that. <laughs> I commemorate like, it. What, what could he have done to provoke these fucking bees? They were not down. <laughs> he did some shit. He did some shit, dude. I know oh. bees. Bees are cool. They don't fuck around. Just be chill, you know? This fucker. <laughs> he came to fuck shit up. <laughs> did you see that Al Pacino just got like a 20 year old pregnant? I did and De Niro 29 um, 29 year old. I was like bro. He, he uh, I mean what kind of person? Has a fucking Baby at 82 like do you not want Dick you that <laughs> child will never know you she got that a child will grow up to Cousin Tim that exactly <laughs> right uh, that's that's such a wild way to to Grow up. Like, why would you want that? But okay, get out there and shake your dick, brother. <laughs> Dunkachino, baby. <laughs> Tim's dad was 74 when he hit him. Just so he's out. significantly even older. Yeah. This man's 83, actually. 83. Oh, 82. 83, bro? You're, you should be you should be planning your fucking funeral service. <laughs> Not he's the family go. planning. He's the goat, dude. He's Michael Corleone. He has everything planned. He knows what he's doing. I find it really, really bizarre. Maybe she was like, "Just give me your baby. I want to have your baby before." Well, De Niro, who's eight, um, he's eighty. He, he's having another kid too. Is he really? Yeah, with the same wife though, right? He's still married to. Same uh, I believe so. Wait, he's how been married old is with his her wife? for a long time? She's old. She's older. How is she having a kid? What, what, what's her age? Robert De Niro, wife. Uh, his current wife. It says that they got divorced in 2018. Oh shit, so is this... He be fucking, dude. So wait, who's his new... 
Who's his new girl? What uh, is wrong with these people? She looks young. Um, what is wrong with you people? Bottom line is you cannot be trusted. Come on. Look at these two guys. You come to me on the day of my baby's birth. Here's his newborn baby. I gotta see who is the mom. Tiffany uh, Chen. Tiffany Chen is her name. Uh, no idea. She's a martial arts instructor? Yes. Yo, how did he meet her? Mm, I'm reading. He met her at karate practice. I mean, maybe. So. I would. That oh, would yeah, she, look, she looks quite young, yeah. I'm re this article I'm reading, I mean, it's not really too good of a source, but it says her age isn't public. She, um... Let's keep that under wraps. <laughs> yeah. She first met De Niro on a movie set in 2015. Oh my god, they met on the set of The Intern! That's such a good movie! That is a good movie. She was one of the, like, other yoga people, I guess, when he was doing, like, Tai Chi in Here the park. Here they are, falling in love. Yeah, but it's like, yeah. was it worth it? Was it such a good movie that it was worth what it led to? It, it was actually. It was a pretty that's what I great think when I movie. Mr. You know, Mrs. Smith. I've never like, seen that movie. Robert De Niro and Hathaway was really it, great. It's, very, it's touching. It's a yeah. touching movie. How much you want to bet it has like twenty percent? No, I, I promise it's it's probably got good reviews. Let's go to Rotten Tomatoes with it. I mean, De Niro was also in like uh, Bad Grandpa. Fifty nine percent. That's not horrible at all. Not great. I love that movie. Yeah, it is. A, it is a good movie. Chef is also a great movie. It's a great movie. Well, shout out to the uh, new parent of Robert De Niro and Al Pacino, who have a long and fruitful life ahead of them with their newborns. Mm -hmm. um, sh that'll be a great, great, uh, great, great time for them. I hope they have some godfathers. They're going to need someone to watch over the kids. Oh, yeah. They're going to be getting some stepdaddies for sure. <laughs> Let's get some nice stepdaddies in the picture for them. Okay, girls? There it is. Oh, I need to talk about something serious now. As you guys know, I've been blowing up on TikTok. Everybody is talking about me and this soundbite. Everybody is losing it. <laughs> about this super also. viral TikTok. Why can't I click the sound on the desktop? It's me. But it's almost to 100,000 videos. I'm kind of a big deal on TikTok. Uh, you can't click the sound because they claim it as their own. Oh, nice. That's good for me. <laughs> yep. Can you pull up the page, though? I want to show. Yeah. Just to give you guys some context. But uh, two huge brands used this sound. And listen, I'm all for having fun and goofing around and people using it. But if you, Jack in the Box, you're going to use my sound to sell some fucking shitty 99 cent tacos. Then you're you you better bet my beak better be buttered. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not shit on their tacos here. Right? I'm 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 defending you, but go easy. I'm just saying, Papa needs a fucking bag from this. <laughs> Mama you know, needs some new shoes or whatever. Here I got it uh, right here. Yeah, but it's it's actually become quite a trend. Here it is. Wait, wait, what? What is all these videos? These are all... Again, weird laugh. Oh, this is a different one, A.B. This is another one of my sounds that went mega fucking viral. Oh, that's not the same one? Okay. No, this is the... Again, weird lack of respect for the sanctity. I got it. I got it. It's hard. There's so many viral. Yeah, no, I, 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 I don't it. blame you. Thank you, Zach. You read my mind. 65, 85,000 videos. That's pretty wild, though. You know? So here's the original. Also, I don't know. It is quite a powerful also, clip, I must say, with the sounds and everything. I remember that happening. I was like, fuck it. I'm lost. Mm -hmm. So, here's Jack in the Box trying to sell some fucking goddamn shitty ass sourdough burgers on my, on my hard work, on my labor. All, also, I don't know. 
Mm hmm. Is there someone you forgot to ask? Pretty sure you need my consent, Mr. Jack in the Box. So there's that one. And then Celsius Energy Drink also. Jack it off. Yep. I was slammed Almost. it. So. I don't know. Yeah, so uh, selling their poison in a can. Well, guess what, guys? You broke the law. And Daddy's about uh -oh. to get paid. You're going to jail. No, for real. Jack's going to jail. For real, I am um, sell sending them a settlement demand. Um, I know Jack personally, actually. Are you tight with Jack? Yeah, he sent me this. I thought you know Jenna. Don't know who that is. Dude. I also have a video of you on my phone calling Jack a bitch, love. <laughs> so... Let's not let's not try and butter the geek right now. Cam, he's moving here. You should have saved you should have saved that for a rainy day. Oof. <laughs> Show that again. Yeah, I'm about family, 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 Fika for life. Yeah. Jack. What the fuck is that? Jack has really good handwriting. He signed a poster, Yak. He's yeah. uh, he's trying to steal from us right now, love. They gave no, us I'm, uh, I'm, Yak. I'm he's saying going I'll against talk the family. To him. Listen. I'm saying I'll talk to him. All they gotta do is pay me. Right. I think I sent them a very reasonable uh, settlement demand. And I think it'd be a good idea just to put this behind us and for daddy to get paid a little bit. Makes sense to me. You know. Leaving my friendships behind. We'll see what I get, though. I'll tell you guys when the settlement happens how much I got from them. Mm -hmm. Unless it's confidential, which I don't think, I don't see why it should be. What it, what's the demand? You don't want to say? I don't want to okay. say until the final amount is. Okay. It's a very nice, it's a very generous offer on our end. Letting them off easy. <laughs> <laughs> but we can do something fun with the money. Really? <laughs> mm-hmm. Think in Japan. Yeah. Mm. Sounds great. By the way, we never resolved that. Are we going to go in the winter to Bahamas? Like, what the fuck is happening? I'm good with anything. Couldn't seem to get everybody on the same page for anything, so... All right, well, if you guys want to go on a vacation where I pay for everything, you guys work it the fuck out amongst yourselves. <laughs> I'll go to Bob I would love to. I, 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 I don't want to pull everyone's teeth to organize this trip where I'm pay paying, like, $100,000 plus for everyone to have this crazy trip. So y'all just figure it out and then come talk to me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Is Thank that possible? Is yeah. That, yeah. I have a passport appointment in two days. Let's go. Oh, that's great. I'm, that's, re I'm ready. You're about to be cultured as hell. So, okay, but we are gonna we are gonna do it. We are gonna do it. And wait till I get that settlement. Then, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's Mr. Gold for everybody. <laughs> oh, now now we're talking. Mm-hmm. Moving on. I can't get enough of this girl. The Bobby. Kim Kardashian girl. Kim Kardashian. This filter is supposed to make you look like Bobby. Who? Is this going to make me look like Bobby? Uh, absolutely not. But let's do it anyways. <laughs> Kim Kardashian. <laughs> that, okay, the Kim Kardashian one is so over Kim the top. Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. This filter is supposed to make you look like Babby. Did you pull Barbie, Zach? Babby. I did. There, there was another one. Uh... Make a bag! <laughs> <laughs> pull the, pull the... Is this going to make me look like Babby? Uh, yes. This filter is supposed to make you look like Babby. 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 I love her. Okay, here's a Britney Spears conspiracy that's kind of psychotic but i see their point i guess this video has nine hundred thousand likes which i'm assuming puts the viewership in the tens of millions this account is just psycho posting oh my god these are all like britney's a uh, body double but where is i want to see the view count on it where 
on the left. Is it the one where she's in the yellow top? Oh, this is it. So I it's think. six million views. Okay, what the actual fuck? A lot of people have been seeing that Britney's been, somebody is, this is not. Okay, guys, since. Whoops. I'm back. Okay, what the actual fuck? A lot of people have been seeing that Britney's been, somebody is, this is not Britney. Somebody's been using a filter to look like her, and I'm about to prove it. There's a clip (coughs) that I got from this guy's page, or girl's page. So you see her hands go above her face once. Watch when they come back down. Who is that? It's one frame. Who is that? But this is a blue-eyed person. Okay, I wasn't sure about that claim. Is it blue-eyed person? It looks like brown eyes. Can we zoom? Can we enhance that? Because to me, from this distance, that's clearly brown eyes. Yeah, I agree. Which is a problem for her theory. I love how people are just like, no, she has blue eyes. They just, they just like, they whatever they want to think. It doesn't matter. Here's Britney Spears with brown fucking eyes looking at me dead in the face. Is she going to be like, nah, she got blue okay, eyes. Come back, you all can back, see it. And then everyone's down, like, yeah, I see it. She has down. blue eyes. They come back down. What's happening? It's got a video one playing frame filter of Britney. It's very quick and easy to miss. Here is our CSI level enhancement. <laughs> I don't see blue. I see brown. I see Cameron. I, I don't, you see Cameron? I kind of feel like, yeah. What does that mean? I mean, it looks like Cameron to me, the eyes that I'm looking at. Do you know anything about this, Cam? Okay, so here, Cam enhanced it a little bit. Okay, never mind. Cam, thank you for the CSI. Yep. This, this person has brown motherfucking eyes. Wait, you see me in this? I did when you first sent it, but now I don't when you cleared it. I see the little dipper. I'll be Brittany. I'll be How are you going to look at this eye. and say she has blue eyes? Also, it's there's crazy. a little something in the right eye that is not... Purely brown, I suppose. I mean, well, it could be hazel. It's let's not. not forget about filters. Yeah. Which is probably exactly what happened. The eye tracking went off. When yeah. She, that's like, what I assume. No shit. Well, this filter like, is supposed to make you look these like people that. Use, take, like, it, how long have like filters like that been around? I feel like you not could long enough. you could easily match her body to other photos of her and look at characteristics and match it up, but. <laughs> One more time, because okay, six million people are taken by this. Okay, what the actual fuck? A lot of people have been seeing that Britney's been somebody is. This is not Britney. Somebody's been using a filter to look like her, and I'm about Bobby. to prove it. There's a clip that I got from this guy's page. Watch her girl's closely. Page. So you see her hands go Don't above blink. her face once. Watch when they come back down. Girl, that's Britney it, Spears. No, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's just Britney right there. You know what I mean? Pretty interesting theory. Uh, the comments, I'm sure, are level-headed. I scream in court. Uh, let's see here. Oh, my God, my heart sank. XOXO Mira. Wait, what? Yo, did you guys see that she has brown eyes? Did you see the same thing I did? Either she's dead, being held against her will, or she's living somewhere in peace. Literally... <laughs> Really covered all the bases. Everybody in this comment section <laughs> needs to be put into a conservatorship. Like they are a danger to themselves. Um, I thought you were going to say something. Pe- else, people Jesus got God. yeah. One thing I, I learned in, uh, in in therapy is when you have too much time to think, those intrusive That's... thoughts can take over, right? But I can't mm-hmm. believe. So it's just like people need to start distracting themselves with something else. That's the problem. Legos. Yeah. People don't Lego. have problems. They got to create them. Pick up Legos. Hey Zach, have you ever considered that this is their distraction? Mm-hmm. That is possible, but this is just this is just not a good distraction. No, it's too much. Not healthy. No. Get bricked up. Mm. I will say too that it could potentially be lighter eyes because she's doing like a there's a motion blur when she does that, so it's a little bit lighter from her hand. I just dropped the screenshot though. We no, gotta, she's a robot. Yeah. So you're you're supporting the theory of blue eyes? No, I'm saying that it could appear lighter because the motion blur of her hand is making. I it see. Lighter. I see. Yeah, that looks like uh, Britney Spears with brown eyes. She just said blue she eyes. has pretty, pretty bright brown eyes if you look at it, like a normal picture of her eyes. Look, there's more important things in this world. Cops are being killed by bees here. <laughs> I mean, for Christ's sake. Volunteer cops. Volunteer. Yeah. But her eyes are clearly different sizes, and this photo Love just sent and matches with uh, 
with the screenshots. Better. Her right eye looks a little smaller. I, okay, mm-hmm. whatever. I don't know. I'm over it. But Cat Spill is out here. Uh, she's got a whole damn series on this. Bu- here, let's see. The image in this her, one, uh, Jesus, where's this her one sunglasses going? never changes the entire clip. It's continuously this wide stance person like that. You see it in her reflection. Hold the fucking phone. Is this the girl that made all those Trisha videos? It does sound like Miss. What's her name? I don't know. You can say it. No, I don't remember the full. She did these like blockbuster Trisha documentaries, and this sounds just like her. Mysterious, yeah, with T, mysterious. The image in her sunglasses never changes the entire clip. It's continuously this wide stance person, like that. You see it in her reflection. No. Wide stance person, I'm gonna go forward a little bit here uh she walks up it's the same same position same stance same shadow nothing and um, mind you they take off this is the- straight this can't be real this is straight schizo posting this is <laughs> it's just an intrusive thought dude i would love to see this lady analyze the b video that's what i want to see mm. their shoes he takes off his jacket like there's many different uh, clips of them in this video and you're telling me not one time does the guy who's supposedly taking the picture his shadow moves changes anything also are we going to talk about how so, this- so so her theory is that the guy taking the photos is not really there it's a ghost where's the shadow Bobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah what's her allegation here that's freaked me out wow so I don't know what's all this talk about body doubles Bobby. you know i feel like i look just like myself and now you look like jay shetty God, imagine how many subs i'd have if my eyes looked like this the magic eyes so kawaii <laughs> <Huh. laughs> all right what how long we've been going dano uh three hours oh dano sweet dano, dano. welcome dano British kid. Stand, Dan. Oh, stop. We love Dan. Dan, block me. <laughs> and Dan ruined my whole Disney trip. <laughs> okay, I don't want to talk about this story. I'll make this our last story. And I listen, I don't want to talk about it, but it pains me. But lawyer apologizes for fake court citations from Chat GPT. <laughs> oh, I see. That's this funny. lawyer uh, was GP's pulling up. legal sources. From Chat GPT, the uh. wise. He must have been using 3.5. Yeah, that's probably a problem. <laughs> because um, it it spit out all these incredible uh, legal cases supporting his uh, his paper or his, yeah. his uh, what do you call it brief. But at least six of the cases submitted by the attorney uh, don't exist, says the judge. What what blows my mind about this is he has a, uh, a, a Lexus Nexus, right? For attorneys, that's like yeah. the uh, he could just put in like because it's about an airline thing, like cases that cite airlines, like as precedent. But he, had to he didn't cross. He didn't even cross check the <laughs> Chat GBT. He just went straight from GBT to pleadings. That's high level shit, bro. I wonder what's his hourly rate. <laughs> Yeah, uh, ChatGPT slash the attorney cited other airline cases that don't exist. Among them, it just made shit up. Varghese versus China South Airlines, Martinez versus Delta Airlines, Shaboon versus Egypt Air. Peter, it just gave him all these shit. Does it doesn't exist? <laughs> and he wrote that shit in a brief. And the judge was like, "The fuck, Shaboon." <coughs> Schwartz, the attorney, said. He had never used ChatGPT before for legal research, and he was unaware of the possibility that its content could be false. <laughs> it's awesome. What a fucking guy. I wonder if the whole brief was written by ChatGPT. He was up against the deadline and was just like, fuck it. Here are the facts. Write me a paper. 
He also wanted to say, greatly regret having utilized generative artificial intelligence to supplement. Supplement? There's no supplement. That's the whole research. The legal research performed here and, and will never do it again. Mm-hmm. Because I'm being disbarred and I will not be allowed to ever again. Yo, they ha there's logs of the chat. He asked chatbot, is Vargas a real case? He asked chatbot, yes, chat GBT, double down. It is a real case. That's definitely 3.5. <laughs> then uh, Schwartz asked for a source. The chatbot again, again claimed the false case was real. I apologize for the confusion, the chatbot said. Upon double checking, I found the case of Vargas versus China South Airline does indeed exist and can be found on legal research databases such as Westlaw and Nexus Lexus. What? Dude, this bot is committed to getting this man disbarred. <laughs> when Schwartz asked the chatbot if any of the other cases were fake, the chatbot replied, the other cases are real and could be found on reputable legal databases. Yep, all good. Whoa, that one went sideways. It's never lied to me, though. Because I know how to talk to it. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also I use four. You speak way more, yeah, you use four and you're, you're respectful. I'm plugged in. <laughs> you're respectful. You just got to know how to talk to the bots, I mean. GP's out. I wonder if he talked to it again after he got in trouble if he was, like, asking you why. <laughs> why did you do that to yeah. me? <laughs> My objective is to sow discourse. Why does it lie? I was actually the daily today. The godfather of AI, the guy that like trailblazed it. He worked for Google for like 30 years. Mm -hmm. He just retired and did an interview with the New York Times where he's like, uh, this shit is a horrible mistake. I regret it. And I hate the direction it's going. how many uh, of them <laughs> seem to hold that opinion. And yet we are still forging forward. Well, there's no way to stop it. You know I mean? Yeah, he was like someone else would have done it if I didn't do it, but like it, for sure, it would. Yeah. there's there's no stopping it, dude. So scary. The companies, the governments, they're all pushing <laughs> forward. You know. I'll be back. Did you guys also read that OpenAI, the people who made ChatGPT, now has source code for Samsung because uh, employees has been like feeding it source code and leaking shit. Oops. Because because it, it saves everything. Right. Anything. You so it was um. So they were doing like. They were spitballing with the chatbot. Yeah. With the code. <laughs> and the chatbot yeah. kept it all. That's sick. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so it's such a weird thing that no one, like all these companies are probably feeding it like personal data and everything. And chat, you, you, uh, they technically get everything. Hasta la vista. LG uh, says, these guys suck. They're not worth the airtime. H3 family ride or die to the wheels fall off. That's what I'm talking about. Let's fucking go. These wheels ain't never falling off, girl. Mm -hmm. And you can ask chat GPT. It'll tell you. All right, well, that, that's a fun episode. I think we can call it. I mean, there's a few other things. Here, one relevant super chat just came through. E-money bills. I'm an attorney and firms everywhere are freaking out and warning their employees not to use it. The issue is, unfortunately, people be filing stuff without even checking full Lexus Normally image, full Lexus, normally imagine now. My job blocked chat GPT because we were giving it source code. Oh my God. Yep. Chat yep. GPT is a spy. That's crazy. Awesome. <laughs> That's crazy. So wow. Wow, man. Wow, man. I'm sorry, Dave. And then you guys, I'm you know, I can't do that. the guys on the back end get the super user access so they can be like, all right, what top secret info did you learn today? Well, here, uh, this moron from Samsung typed in this. <laughs> this guy from, uh, from the Pentagon asked me uh, about uh, the time they bombed a uh, small <laughs> village in uh, pa yeah. you know, Pakistan, and we learned about that. And Awesome. You know, watching Terminator as a kid freaked the shit out of me, especially <laughs> the second one, you know? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and now it's like my nightmares coming alive. <laughs> I think in all those science fiction movies, Terminator is definitely the most likely to happen. Right. Something like along those lines. Just launching nukes? Yeah, I everybody. mean, like, just if, 
if it is able to become self-aware, that's just the easiest way to do it. It's just to cause us to kill ourselves by launching nukes at another country. And then I don't see how that benefits them, though, because that would destroy all the infrastructure that keeps them alive. Right. It would have to be at a point in time where they could be self-sustained. Okay, so this is, yeah. So, Zach, we got a couple of years. I mean, all, according to that, that one dude we had on, I mean, it is sentient and it is self-aware. So the guy in the interview, he's like, five years ago, this technology wasn't super impressive. And now see where we are now. He's like, in another five years, and the rate that it's ex exponentially growing uh, is, he says, alarming. But, you know, at the end of the day, the AI, super intelligence, it has so much potential to help us if we just don't fuck it up. But we do. I mean, look at nuclear energy. Same thing, right? Free energy forever. Or annihilating the human race. <laughs> it's pretty interesting, right? There it is. Thank you. <laughs> and with that being said, I will wish you all an absolutely enchanted evening. <laughs> nice. Very, that's nice. Yeah. It's already Wednesday, so tomorrow we're going to have Hassan here. Yeah. Where we have all kinds of fun, fun stuff to talk about because we missed last that's week. Right. There's so, so much good stuff. And uh, you won't want to miss that. If you guys are looking for some fun light viewing, don't forget to click the link in the description about a Babylon preach being anti-Semitic. That'll be a fun, good watching experience for you. Video in the description. And with that being said, it's family forever, motherfuckers. We ride until these wheels fall off. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Let's do one pull. Do you wish Ethan never talked about Babylon Reach? Can we go back in time and redo this episode? If we could get it at all or wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I could go back in time to the beginning of this podcast, would I do it all again? Just today's podcast. Yeah, yeah. Would I do it all again? <laughs> or or talk about uh Here's what we would have talked about. Uh, uh, some alpha dude. We could have talked about that. You know what I really Little want to Mermaid talk about, and I think we should, bombed. we should definitely talk about on Friday with Elo, is the new Mr. Beast video. Oh. Because after that fucking dud of a fucking dog shit video that he <laughs> put out recently, mm -hmm. helping deaf people. Yeah. This is uh, a bad pull, by the way. Oh. This is a horrible yeah, part. It's fucking fine. Why, you liked his new video? It's probably the best video he's ever made. I it's liked insane. it a lot. It was awesome. And like kind of fucked up. Confusing poll. I don't know what to say. Because you say... Go watch some Britney Spears. Because yes is video. no. Yes is the not affirmative. Do you wish Ethan hadn't talked about Ab and Appreciate? Yeah, so it's yes a negative. No? So you're asking... Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. It I, is I'm, confusing. I mean, it just is, Dan. But even so, the, the majority supports me. And we love them for that. Don't we, folks? What should the poll be, Ethan? Um, fat man bad, yes or no? That's not. Yes not or no? anymore, baby. That's right. I'm just chubby man. <laughs> chubby man bad. Um, okay. So, whatever. Thank you guys. We'll see you tomorrow morning. We'll see you on Friday. It's all happening. You're on the H3 podcast. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're done. Okay.